Elves. Right, All right. So, last time on the Dork Vision stream, the group. Hello, group. That's you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, you guys. <laughs> you guys fought off some demons uh, in the jungle before regrouping. Wasn't much that of a was fight. A, that was an easy time. <laughs> yeah, turns out banishment's a good spell, and Julian has been doing some reading. Um, so, that oh, eventually killer. brought you guys uh, to Bjorn's location that he was taking you to. Bjorn the Zorn, that you guys have uh, agreed to get gems for, uh, so he can lead you around the jungle boar. Uh, so he since, can stack. Yeah, and because uh, and you guys don't have navigational equipment. So... Mm -hmm. You guys ventured up where he uh, said that there were big gems that he could smell but couldn't reach uh, in this giant upside down like tree uh, that's towering out of the ceiling of the Underdark and it was covered in orange amber crystals glowing slightly. Turns out it's filled with these strange parasitic vines that were draining your life force uh, as you tried to ascend. Eventually you made it to the center of the uh, tree, hollowed out. Uh, which contained a corrupted wood woad. Uh, you guys were able to eventually good. defeat it, uh, and then it sank back into the woodwork, whereupon you noticed a humanoid silhouette inside of the largest amber crystal in the room. Uh, Boomcrash made contact with it telepathically, and that is where we are going to start today's stream. So, welcome everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, Boom Crash, you made contact, uh, with the strange being or entity within the Amber Prison. Mm -hmm. Uh, it sounded vaguely feminine and, uh, asked you for help. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, um... I think, Zumosu, you, uh, tried to hit it. Yeah, I was yeah. asking if I need to hit it or not, and I was about to hit it. So I, like, I, I think you have on, a crowbar guys. out it or something. It seems like it's conscious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, I'll stop. It's, I mean, if we're going to do it, like, we, we, it's, we don't know if this thing is friendly and if unleashing it is going to be an okay thing or a really, really bad thing, or if we're going to be helping someone, so. Fair point. It's, I think it should be a group decision, not just me, like, or any one of us, like, making hasty decisions. So... <sighs> Peggy groans from the corner. Oh, shut up, you. She's, <laughs> she's been badly injured, uh, but I think she got a tiny bit of healing from Amon uh, before I you could, guys went in. I could just toss her off the, the tree again. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I've had a rough day. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> That's fair. I am glad I came for the radiant damage. So what's going on? I don't know. Seems like Zorn wants things. Now this showing up. Now there's all this nonsense. I just want to go and finish this quest. That's the gem, right? That that big honking one. There's a thing in it. All right. There's oh. supposedly something sentient with that gem. Oh. Well, what do we do? Uh, Boomcrash is talking to it. We'll see what happens. Okay. We ignore it. Like everything so, else. <laughs> so, am I able to get anything more um, elaborate than please help out uh, of this thing? You can try reaching out again. Okay, I'll try reaching out again. It's like, what's your name? How did you get trapped in there? I, I am nameless, but... My guardian trapped me within, thinking it would protect me. But it was Who's corrupted. Your guardian? It, it tried to trap me in here, my own protection, and instead it's killing the tree. Please, you have to save me. I can save the tree, bring it back to life. But my power is draining. Please, free me. I convey this to the party. It's like, okay, what do we want to do? <laughs> uh, and any other questions you want to ask? Um, how do we free her? 
safely for one. Number two, was her body in that weird woodwood thing? And number three, what is this tree used for? Like, oh. do we? What is? Why is this tree even important to us? Probably not important to us. Might be important, it's not to, important her, though. to us. Um, uh, I ask her, um, was your guardian that Woodwode thing? And you must have seen him. Did he harm you? Um, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but we won, kind of. I hope it is all right. Um. Yeah, we broke the crystal thing, and he seemed to back off. I so hope, I hope he is safe. He has also dedicated his life to protecting the tree. Okay. okay. Um, uh, can I start bugging Peggy and, and seeing, like, what do you got? What kind of things you got in there that could be used for getting that thing out? Is there... And my last question is, um, what's the significance of this tree? Why is it important that it lives? Um, All life is sacred. Must understand. I respect your beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> I agree to disagree. <laughs> I, I, I'm non-committal. Hmm. Noise. Um, uh. Hmm. Okay. So. Uh. So when you uh Mao big uh bug Peggy, uh she starts looking around. <sighs> well, I I can see if I can try and scrounge together some stuff. If you want to try and break that thing carefully. Uh, she's gonna make a, we'll call it Tinker's Tools tech check, to try and attempt to make Mason's Tools. Can I see I'm if I give can her, my I'm items? Gonna, yeah, can we just like aid her by like handing over our crowbars and our my random assortment of animal parts? <laughs> um, I'll say the animal parts probably won't work, but if you guys have like spare knickknacks and stuff, it might help. So, and with all of you together, I'd say that that's worth a uh, help. I okay, still have yeah. a mess kit. I have the crowbar we retrieved. Um, I have some random holy symbols left over from some other guys from way back. All right. Well, I'll see what I oh, can I do. Here's a flail snail flail. Oh my god. I don't Jesus. think we'll need that. Please put order. it away. Um... Let me let me think for a second. Yeah, I also got pythons, hammer, string. Um, Actually, I can use stuff. some of this uh, this stuff that you guys have handed me. Um, if I can just like take apart some of these uh, these crowbars and uh, some of the nails from this thing, uh, and she starts like crafting together some chisels uh, as well as like uh, just uh, small hammers compared to like big honk and war hammers and such. Uh, she creates some rudimentary tools uh, that might be able to help. How long does that take her? Uh, that. I'm gonna say it has to take her about a half hour. Okay, so we got time to chat, so. Yeah. I'm gonna ask Boom Crash to see if she can figure out the history of this thing. Like, was this person, um, did this person discover the tree or were they like always a guardian of the tree? I asked that question and I also let the thing know that we're working on a way to get it out safely. Uh, as you ask, uh, these questions, the uh, entity within seems to be struggling a bit. Their voice is getting fainter. Um, I think we might be running out of time, so let's move this along. Or we just wait and she dies and it's not Please, any difference to us. You have to help me. I look at him on. Like, this is taking mm, the last of my strength. We're working over. on it. I'm gonna I'm do... I still have the stupid-ass scales of good and evil. I just want to see if this thing's good or evil. The scales of good and evil? I actually don't remember that item. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, enlighten me. Dan? Hello? Dan? Dan? I have this cool object, and now I just poof. Give me a minute. All right. <laughs> I assume Firefox crashed and everything crashed with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tends to be the case. Um, either case, uh, as Zumasu... I found it. I found it. Oh, okay. Balance set scales of gems um, of good and evil. It allows me to cast detect good and evil at will. Um, I think it's ritual speed though, which is why I like never ever use it. <laughs> and oh. it's just a, a special scale. It's a special special scale with gems that are marked celestial and evil or whatever. 
Okay. Uh, so... Hmm, that is interesting. That is an interesting item. <laughs> uh, well, so... I can usually just sense this sort of thing, but I wanted to use the item. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm looking it up. But I accidentally de typed detect good, but it's actually evil and good. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as you hold up the scales before you, you sit down in front of the uh, sort of amber case, uh, and everyone watches you for the first time take out this magical scale. Some of you might remember it. I certainly didn't. Peggy has never seen it before. Um, I can technically, I technically can use it as a paladin spell, but I'm sure I'm a paladin, you can. So, uh, so you start. I ran out of spells. <laughs> uh, actually, I think that that just has a certain number of uses a day. The paladin detects good in a cone. Oh yeah. But either way, you're experimenting. You uh, put uh, some of the red infernal gems in uh, one side of the scale, uh, and some of the um, clear white diamondish colored gems uh, in the other uh, side of the scale and start like taking some away and putting some in to even it out. And it seems to be leaning far towards the good side just as well. Uh, it seems to, uh, from uh, a strange marking that appears at the uh, tipping point of the scale, like right at the fulcrum, this glowing rune appears and you read it and it says that there is a fey present. It's a goddamn fey. Okay. Care. But it's saying it's a good fey. Yeah. It's for the most fey. part, right? I mean, a fey, at least for, um, like, warlock shenanigans, like, they're considered good. Okay. Um, so, I I, let's, I'm, I'm let's bad at this thing. I'm good. I'm game for that. Yeah, I actually just have a question, Chris, if you know anything. I don't know enough about my D&D &D god. Is my D&D &D god okay with fey? If he's Hieronius? Hieronius is the god of justice, and honestly, so it's pretty... up to you to meet that out. Okay. So if you I believe it's it just, be... then it is just. Okay, I'm um, just asking if we can take some of her glowing other gems, if that'd be cool. She does not respond. I think we <sighs> just need to get her out. Okay, fine. It's I'm, I'm not getting a sense that she's a malevolent force, at least, guys. But Peggy, she is probably where are we Faye. at? I, I think I got something together. She hands you the chisels and hammers. Um, do you, do any of you have the uh, have uh, the ability to um, cast spells still? Maybe um, there's some magic that could get her out as well. Uh, which ones? I can do some cantrips, and that's pretty much it. Mm. I have one third level spell, but nothing seems super useful. And there. I have Wait. wands uh, and. Rolls. I'm gonna have the three spellcasters make uh, an arcana check. Wait, I, I have dispel magic. God, can you guys hear me? Uh, yeah. We yeah. can. They were just yelling louder than you. Okay. Right. So I have a I have a suggestion. I I still have banishment. <laughs> what? So that'll free him. <laughs> why, do do, why do we do banish? And then what if we can move the crystal out and then just unbanish? Well, you'd only have a oh. minute. Technically, yeah. that would work. We uh, just we just shatter the crystal so she could banish. We she cast shatter. There we go. It doesn't it doesn't matter. We don't have to move it because if you're if you banish a creature, then what happens is it comes back into place where it can be, like where it can exist. So technically, being back inside the stone might not apply. Well, no, there's, there's presumably a, a hole inside. where she is. Yeah, but the cavity yeah. is be like perfectly placed. Well, she's being perfectly well, banished. Be. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. So but I rolled a twenty-one on Arcana, so what can I tell from that? <laughs> okay. Tell me that is a good idea. That's what you need to tell me. So, uh, with a twenty-one, uh, you intuit that Amon's idea of banishment might not work because the gem is far too foggy to be able to see his target. He might make a mistake of some sort. It could actually harm the uh, prisoner rather than free them. Oh no, uh, that would be such a tragedy. But Zumasu, Come you on. also do into it that uh, similar, 
not similar, uh, but divine magic might be able to free her, perhaps something of a curative force. A greater restoration spell would probably be able to free her from the prison. But we don't know if you guys have any more of that diamond dust. Would a dispel magic help get rid of the diamond? A dispel magic would probably... uh, I mean, you did roll a 21. A dispel magic would probably render the gem to be non-necrotic for a time. Like, it wouldn't Mm. suck life force. It would keep her alive a little bit longer. Yeah, so I could take a nap, and then I would get my two spells back. Well, we don't know if it's going to last that long. So. You don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just convey the information to Mon. Um, basically, this seems to be more like a cursey type thing that needs restoration abilities. I could dispel it, but it's not going to really stop what's ailing her. Do you still got any juice left in one of those recovery spells? The question is this. If I do a recovery on this strange creature. This is the question I have is this. How are you still getting the person out? Or are you implying that the cure would just... The cure would probably the... magically get rid of it. I'm implying this is more of a curse sort of thing. She so seems to be trapped it. as if by a curse. Yeah. But it's po- uh, too powerful for a remove curse spell. Which is a lower level spell. I also have that. Okay, I'm gonna check on to. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, uh, just uh, this is a decision you make. Uh, I have I have agreed to follow your decisions, no matter how foolish they may seem. <laughs> so. Uh, Side note: I'm not a part of the decision. Now is in the corner brooding. Yeah. In the corner of the <laughs> round chamber. Uh, so, Amon, uh, it's up to you. I actually don't know if you have diamond stuff. Do you still have that? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, 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 I still have enough. Um, and I just poke dismissively. No. Yeah. Done. Cool. Uh, so, you uh, start rubbing some of the diamond dust over uh, the crystal. It burns a bit as it slightly drains your life force, not enough to kill you. The magic uh, between your hand and the amber prison is preventing it from sucking too much. Um, As you rub the diamond dust over the amber crystal, uh, you begin chanting uh, in a strange tongue that Incabulos will recognize, and the entire crystal begins to glow with a purplish hue, and then it's... It just starts bubbling and hissing as the amber starts peeling away. You see a humanoid silhouette inside start to glow with a radiance as it emerges, Wily Coyote style, like through a human-shaped hole in the front of the amber. And you see before you a humanoid figure. Uh, just, uh, do you... Yeah, I'm a- I'm gonna have my hand. I'm, okay, I'm gonna help her out with one hand, and I'm gonna have my other hand behind me with the sword. She <laughs> uh, falls onto the ground on one knee, and her hands, uh, Han Solo from Carbonite style. Uh, Damn it! I just put that gif in there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Um, she looks up at you, uh, and uh, she climbs up onto Zumosu and just kind of uh, hugs him, and then uh, looks over to Amon. Thank you. Thank you for freeing me. I'm still very weak, but I owe you a life debt. And you too. Uh, she turns to Boom Crash. I could sense you through the crystal. I've been biding my time until someone came to my rescue, if anyone. How long have you been in there? I cannot remember, but it was definitely a few years. At least. You guys hear a rustling uh, from behind you and a bending of wood as the wood woad rises from the ground. I'm going to throw my sword at it. You throw your sword. uh, Make an attack roll. (laughs) Yeet! 
you scream <laughs> as uh, your sword flies true. Uh, <laughs> it deals seven slashing damage, uh, but your magic has worn off, uh, and it seems to resist it. The sword shoo, sticks inside of it uh, and sort of waves back and forth with the reverberation. Get down this way, this thing's dangerous. <laughs> no, that is my protector. And oh. from the looks of it, you have saved him as well. She walks over uh, to the wood woad and puts her hand on its chest. Uh, the sword of yours kind of like pops out and clamors, uh, clatters onto the ground. Thank you all, my I... friends. I cannot give you. Any, I cannot give you anything that. Uh, well. Just let us take your crystals. Can we take these crystals and feed our friend? Yeah, we kind of want the crystals. I will have to do my work to get rid of these crystals myself and try to retrain this Woodwode. He was a friend in life, but in death... Can you get rid of him and summon another one? I I would never do that. (laughs) He's kind of a dick. He was only that because of the crystals. I put my talon up to, like, Zumos' face and I sort of put, like, one over his lips and I'm just like... <laughs> it's time for a nap. Like, let her have her friend. It's fine. <laughs> I still don't trust that thing. A you don't have to. Like a teddy bear. Yeah, we're going away. She can have her teddy bear, and we're gone. You commit. You can have all of the crystals. I myself will need to get rid of them in due time. But if you would not harm my friends, that would be very helpful. Okay. Wood woads are people that have dedicated their lives to protecting nature after di- uh, after they have died and they their souls become parts of the trees which are planted in their hearts and this one was a good friend of mine in life I cannot replace him but that's dark I could perhaps give you something for your troubles as well as these gems which are now useless to me um She, uh, after, uh, walking over towards the thing that was once her amber prison, she, uh, goes over and touches some of the diamond dust, uh, and puts it between her fingers, and then a bit of fey magic starts springing forth from her fingertips. Uh, as her hands start to glow, she, uh, reaches inside of the amber and pulls out a perfectly spherical amber gemstone. This... It's blessed with my magic, and it glows a few times uh, and sparkles as she hands it to the closest person to Boom Crash. Ooh. Here, take this. It might be helpful for you. As for these gemstones, I will need to bide my time and try and get rid of them. But if you could help me do some pruning, oh, absolutely. that might be helpful. Amber, Amber. orb, dryad magic. Fancy. Fancy. Well, Fancy. you heard the lady, uh, and she, uh, Peggy walks over to the largest crystal thing, uh, and then starts whacking it with a larger hammer. Uh, okay. And with the crowbar. Elder blast. <laughs> you guys start blasting around the room. Who wants a javelin? <laughs> you to, like, take a step back so I don't get I hurt. throw a javelin at Mao, not at her, but on her side. Mao, help. Don't be lazy. I'm, I'm just gonna grab a piece, and then just uh, do the same thing, but I'm gonna do it on the opposite. <laughs> Your two brooders fuck off onto the tree <laughs> limbs outside. Um, Can I make oh a perception God. check to see if anything else is attacking us or coming near us? It doesn't seem so. Um, as you guys uh, attack and destroy the large crystal, the lights in the tree, Mao and Amon notice this, the outermost lights start to flicker and go out until slowly all of the little glowing crystal lights uh, have gone out, leaving none of them behind. After a while, you guys have your gemstones. The large one has been uh, hacked to pieces, and um, Peggy has her bag of holding and just kind of shovels all of the gemstone pieces that she can inside. And even so, you guys like still have sacks of the stuff plenty of gemstones now no longer twinged with necrotic energy i was about to ask that i'm like wait a second is this stuff actually 
No, it Hell seems that destroying the crystals, uh, it it destroys the magic. Wait, so then how about... Okay, should we do like an appraisal or something? Because what is what are these crystals then otherwise? Are they even food. valuable then? They're food. We promise well, them food. Well, you can do food. an intelligence check. Uh, Peggy can also do one. If Wait, like. hold on, Peggy. Let's just examine these now that they're not so glowy. All right. I don't know shit about crystals. Dude, they're crystals, know. man. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I do know something about these. I mean, it it is mostly just amber, uh, straight up, which is a valuable gemstone, but created by magic, it'll probably decrease the value a bit. But they're still pretty gemstones, so someone will buy them. And well, Zorn will nom them. And Zorn yeah, will nom them. We have a guide point. that we need to pay. Yeah. Thank you all for your help, the Dryad says. I will return you. And then you guys start to sink down into the tree. Wait, wait, hold on. Did I, I, have, a, to this? Did I, I have a few this? questions. <laughs> Fear <laughs> not. Multiple questions. Fear not. You will be safe as you are uh, sucked into the tree. Can I, can I resist this? <laughs> you can attempt to resist. How do I resist this? I'm going to have you make a constitution saving throw. Good, it's a saving throw. So, uh, I assume okay. Mao and myself are fine? Uh, nope, you guys are also sucked into the tree. Yeah, Mao attempts to resist. Work. Uh, so Zumasu, you are now, uh, just up to your waist. Your friends, Peggy has completely disappeared. Mao has been sucked in. Booncrash, if she allows it, if she consents, uh, she is also sucked into the tree. Um, and Amon was as well, I believe. Uh, is, it, is it pleasant? Well, it's a nice hugging feeling all over no. your body. Uh, no. That doesn't sound pleasant. Surprisingly few splinters. Um, <laughs> you Quicksand do, is hugging. You feel like a uh, uh, a sort of pine scent rush over you as well. Um, Zoom also, you're half stuck in the tree and the uh, dryad skips over to you and giggles. <laughs> Okay, Don't worry, um, wait a second, where's safe. Peggy here? Where's uh, Peggy, where's Peggy, real quick? Peggy is buried completely over her head. Okay, 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 I'm gonna go, wait, I have some very urgent questions, please. Uh, can I do a persuasion? Sure. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you still had questions. What are your huh. questions? Well... To be frank, um, how well do you know this area? We're we're kind of on a mission to transport something, but <laughs> I have not it's... left this tree since I was born. So you're just the spirit of the tree? Yep. You sink entirely into the tree. Damn it. Uh, you sink into the tree and uh, you plop out the very bottom of the tree, uh, a 20 foot fall from the uh, tip of the tree, but your friends are nearby to break your fall. Uh, they were also spat out at the bottom of the tree. I guess that's a fine how do you do. Mm. <laughs> you okay, Peggy? Did that hurt? Uh, I mean, I guess I'm fine. It's a little annoying. So we're like at the base of the tree. Does the rest of the group see us then? Yep, uh, the rest of the group uh, eventually comes uh, closer to you. They were staying at the outskirts of the tree because the shambling mounds had plopped down before. Um, so they uh, rush over to you. The first to reach you, of course, is none other than uh, Bjorn. He pops out from uh, nearby and goes, Friends get gems. Gems for Bjorn. Uh, ask the oh, buddy, one. do we got ask, gems? Yeah, ask the little one over there. You think and it? I point to Peggy. You think it's smiling? Aww. It's hard to tell. Um, it uh shambles over to Peggy with its like three-legged penguin walk. Boom, 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 boom. Little one, have gems for Bjorn? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got him. She dumps out the bag of holding, just like a big old sack. <laughs> Uh, and, like, dumps out the sack on her back as well. 
Uh, you guys also each have like a sack of amber gems uh, for each of you. Bjorn uh, happily begins munching upon some of the gemstones. Um, how much do you guys give him? I'm going to say... I should probably tell you how much you have. Uh, how much you were able to carry, essentially. <laughs> First of all, how much can a bag of holding hold? Can someone look that up for me? I'm it's going to do some dice up. rolling. <laughs> That's actually probably something uh, that I, I should look at, it. because I haven't been paying attention. That's okay, Peggy has another one. <laughs> like, besides your guys's. I think she, okay. you guys put some stuff in hers, but I don't remember what. 250 cubic feet. 500, 500 pounds, not exceeding a volume of 64 cubic feet. And, uh, yeah, that's about, basically about it. Did you say 500 pounds? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woo! All right. I'm doing fine, then. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that uh, her bag of holding was able to hold the entire remains of the giant crystal, uh, which was probably about, like, 500 pounds. <laughs> uh, then the you rest of you... a little spot in the middle. The rest of you were able to get, uh, we're gonna say, uh, eight pounds each. <laughs> each, uh, each one of you guys was able to rustle up about 30 pounds worth of gems each, each Point. of your sacks. You're not sure exactly how much that's worth, but they're essentially Point. like crystallized maple syrup. So just write 30 pounds of amber, non-magical? Yep. Okay. That's a that's a lot of weight. How much do you guys want to gift to Bjorn? I just gift all of mine because I don't want to carry it. I okay. gift him 15. Or, you know shard, what, I'll gift him 20. Everything that's not a shard, but like, uh, I didn't carry any, so like, whatever. I, I gave him 20 pounds. Thing. Okay. Yeah, same. I'm going to keep 10 pounds. Okay. Feast for Bjorn. Uh, after you guys uh, give tribute to Bjorn, Bjorn uh, thanks you all. Bjorn thank all. And uh, he rushes over to all of the gems, gathers them in one space, and kind of like uh, starts pat piling on some soil onto them. Uh, <clears throat> and you guys kind of like watch with intrigue as he uh, just kind of sits on them like an egg almost, but then he says, Bjorn will hide. Hide from thieves. And then he just sinks into the ground. <laughs> you guys just okay. like look at each other for a few seconds. Uh, 30 seconds later, <laughs> he reappears. Well hidden now. So you're a squirrel, or like a chipmunk, right? Bjorn is Zorn. Mm-hmm, chipmunk, got it. Walk away. Bjorn, oh. help you. Help you now. Where um, you I'm go. Gonna, I'm gonna leave that to you, Barty. I kind of tap him on the shoulder and then I go to Grovel. Grovel, um, as you can see from us, and I kind of point to me, Peggy, and everybody who's beat up, can we take a little break before we head out? I would love a nap. <laughs> of course. Nap I'm good. I'm sure we can do a nap. Is in, isn't that right, Grovel? Yeah, well, we've been napping. We had to take care of a few little tiny plant critters down here. Probably unrelated, but we're fine. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There were a lot of those up there. Turns out the tree was something else. Yeah, I, I heard fighting up there, but uh, that's fine. We can take a rest. We deserve it. Barty, uh, fill Bjorn in on uh, where we're headed. Uh, yes, of course, Gravel. Um, so, where we're headed is uh, to these coordinates at uh, uh, the uh, to the northwest approximately I believe perhaps north I've gotten a bit turned around um, I've been trying to recreate a map and he like pulls out a map that he's been making is and... he a changeling why does he sound like a British butler now Bar <laughs> Barty has always kind of sounded like this I, I just haven't done it very well all the time eh. Chris's default is Scottish uh, but that's for Hotch. Everyone everyone in the Trekkers party needs a different accent for me to accurately do them. <laughs> that's why Ostrich probably turned French halfway through. Because um, <laughs> I think Ostrich used to have a different voice. But, uh, anywho, as Barty's explaining all of this to Bjorn, Bjorn just uh, says, Stop. 
talking now? I like Bjorn more. Bjorn doesn't <laughs> know words like that. Um, what do you what what do you mean, Bjorn? I thought you could lead us through. Bjorn will guide. Guide to blue men. Blue men lead you where you want to go. Wait, is blue men like like blue men? Or is it like blue men is like kind of like a weird like blue Like the onion? Thing? Oh. Are we running into more fungus or blue people? Or blue fungus people? The blue folk. They will help you. Bjorn will take. Oh god, will blue folk to try to kill him? Blues are smart. Blues understand words. Bjorn sinks into the ground to rest. Well, I suppose that helps a Are we little. doing a full rest or an hour rest? Sorry. I say full. I would say full as well. Okay, rad. <laughs> Take out the bedrolls. Is that tree safe to sleep under? It's I... Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a fey that controls it. Technically. You crazy little wood creature, green lady. don't hit it. We're good. <laughs> I, I, I say it better be, because I can still cast blight. <laughs> <laughs> I got the sense that it was a good fey, but just remember it's still a fey. You don't don't get tricked by something stupid. Well, okay. uh, Rizzo pipes up and says, well, if it's a fey that controls the tree, I'd say we're probably safe near this tree. It was dangerous before, but if you've cured it of whatever was ailing it, then it should be, we should be protected here for a time. Yeah. Or so it says. Alright, you guys saddle up your horse and, uh, sorry, your lizard, and uh, get ready for a long rest. Um, there are no encounters during this long rest. Woo! Woo! Okay. I can my spell slots and stuff. <laughs> yep, you guys get back all your spell slots. Um, Rizzo unfortunately does not find a healing potion. Uh, perhaps this area is a little too barren. Um, little chunks of like uh, branches, long dead, uh, and amber crystals like are falling out of the tree at, at intermittently every once in a while. Just like acorns falling off a tree practically. Mm -hmm. um, you guys kind of like look up and see the vines like just draping and falling off of the tree like snakes falling out of a limb. And uh, slowly you see the trees start to bloom, little tiny leaves uh, all over the uh, outermost reaches of the tree. It stops for a bit. Um, it seems that this is all that the dryad can muster at this time, but it seems to be healing. It's kind of beautiful as you guys are laying down there. Bah! Bah, humbug! <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm digging this happy shit. This is great. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a take out a little dagger while I'm resting and carve my name into the tree. And just oh my like, god. It is 20 it. feet up. Here. Yeah, it's on the ceiling, remember? <laughs> oh, crap. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah you yeah, lost your opportunity to piss off the dryad. Damn it. Reverse tree. Oh, by the way, guys, are we gonna do anything about the you-know-what situation? I, I curl up next to you and I complain about how I can't get it open. In okay. <laughs> um, the the uh, cart, I take it? No, mm -hmm. we don't use those words in case they overhear our conversations. We know the thing about the thing. The thing about it's, the thing. It's the group chat. It's the quiet yeah. group chat. <laughs> it's the brain chat. <laughs> I mean, the only other thing I could suggest is maybe, Mao, you could try stealing some of Grubble's or Barty's notes. Especially Barty, he might have had to write something down to try and coordinate his coordinates, you know? Maybe he left a hint somewhere. Yeah, I just... I don't know if you were in the brain chat before I was telling Boom Crash that it's... It's got magic on it, protect... There's a rune carved on the... Or that appears on the side. There's like a uh, slight glow, so I don't want to try and open it. It feels like I might... Oh, I'm talking about... So Juliana knows about... more than she seems. Um, oh, I'm she... not talking about stealing the item. I'm talking about just literally stealing Barty's notes. Why would they he have anything them. written down? Yeah, that seems 
the only reason I think he might have at least something now is because he's a little desperate to try and get stuff together to figure out um, where we have to go. Yeah, so but if, this is an if, operation that on a on a verbal notice, like this isn't a UPS where you need to sign something. I guess that's true, but yeah, at least yeah. the location it, might be helpful. Like if Barty's trying to like create a map, he's probably not going. Ah, uh, yes, and I need to remember what we're carrying, so I'm gonna write it in the margins over here while I create this map. Yeah. So. Oh, um, also, I'm on. Um, any sort of... You had the God question thing going on? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, are we doing that more, or...? He can do it, like, uh, what is it, like, several times a day? It just gets less accurate or something the longer it mm-hmm. goes. Yeah, there's a 25% chance that the, the God doesn't answer. Uh, it also has to be a yes or no question. Uh, so... Now feel free to ask away. Hold on. There was... Um, will the recipient be the... What was... The cause of betrayal through magical... Th- I, I forget which question wasn't asked. Because... You, you know what's an important question? Is what we're transporting alive? I don't think so. Because... Uh, probably not because we haven't fed it anything or anything like that. Because if like, my shatter you see Grovel go over with a piece of meat to the cart and look both <laughs> ways before shoving it inside. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. It could have been like a stasis sort of thing or something. Um, but like I tell you guys the details about my shatter spell. Um, so it's probably an object or something inorganic. Fair enough. Which limits what it could be. Um, we know that the delivery of the thing would be bad for the world, but it would be good for us to deliver it, probably because we would be able to get out. Um, oh, just to ask if it would be bad for, um, where's our hometown? Fuck, why did I forget our hometown? Alore? Yeah. It's been so long. It's, I mean, we kind of know that it's it's bad <laughs> it's bad for if it happens so that would just sort of be rehashing old ground i'm much more interested in like is this like do we interrogate someone about it or do we just break into it and destroy it or do you um, ask the gods questions until you can uh figure out what it is yeah. Oh, 21, 21 questions. Is it a vegetable, <laughs> animal, or plant? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what are your other guys, questions? I, well, guys? Hmm? Guys? Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so the thing that I think we should just ask is this. Like, if you do the... I think we should ask if we just do everything that we're told to, will we be, will we be safe? Because at at this point, I'm wondering, do we even need to care? That makes Mao happy, knowing if she's safe. I guess that's fair. Mao says. At the, all, at the end of the day, all we really care is, are we going to be screwed or not? If we're not going to be screwed, then just get it done. You guys are largely we... concerned with yourselves in this matter. I like being alive. I think you guys mostly yeah. took this mission to get intel on the Vintners anyway. So yeah. seeing yeah. it through might be a good course of action as well. Yeah. If you yeah. wanted to stop yeah, them, you could have stopped them a long time ago. Yeah. And it doesn't derail. I mean, the only thing Boom Crash gives a fuck about is murdering the ever living hell out of her nemesis. Um, Again, now, yeah. Yeah, it's like otherwise the rest of the world can kind of burn as long as she can still make her own way. <laughs> Which sounds terrible, and also whatever her god tells her to do, so... She hasn't prayed about that yet. (laughs) I mean, I'm starting to be like, I could get an in with the Vintners, which would be okay with me. This would certainly get you a boost. Uh, Ostrich told you that. They will take notice of your action. So yeah, just, will we be safe after this, if we deliver this? How do you want to phrase it? Something about safety. Um, is betrayal from the delivery likely, or um, something like that? Does that make sense? Uh, it has to be a yes or no, though. 
Well, no, no it, it, the, the problem is that the, it's, it's a very vague question. Like, yeah. it needs a little more concrete answer. Like, okay, yeah. I, I think I'm just, I think we should, ask, okay, question one that we should ask is, um, like, will the completion of the delivery um, uh, guarantee us uh, immediate safety? Mm -hmm. And maybe also something to do with time, like safety until we arrive home? Is the second one, maybe? Yeah. That's the whole point of immediate safety. Like, uh, like I'm not talking well, about years down the line or anything like that. No, but it took us a couple of weeks to get to where we are. Immediate could be the next day we're going to die. Try months. <laughs> oh, did I convey to you guys that um, secretly, we're on super group, group chat and everything, that um, Greville was saying that we had a shortcut to get back. Everything went according to plan. I feel like I, you conveyed that at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. I at think least the boom crash. It. Okay. Also, also, what is the... Um... Don't don't. Um, the reason I'm saying like don't ask for months in advance and such is because we're Anything probably gonna happen. be doing another job in the another month, and we're probably gonna suffer some casualties during yeah. that mission. That's fair. unrelated. That's fair. So it's mm -hmm. a completely, it's it's one of those like the uh, bad. It muddles the things. muddles the answer just by nature. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, keep it focused on because of that. I, yeah. And yeah. That because of this that. mission. Um. Um, is the item immediately dangerous to us? Or something? I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> I'm, on. I'm a little uh, You are the one who will be asking these questions. So I is guess it three it's... questions? I have one more. Okay. Yeah. Another... Okay, um, I'm trying to think how to phrase this, but... Um, is there anyone else in the party other than us that doesn't want to deliver this item? That seems... Like from their party. Hmm. Yeah, like if anybody else is trying to swindle the deal or sabotage something. Seems like a good, a good way to phrase it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, why don't you write that down so I don't... Is there up. anyone okay. in, in the... the... Discord? Yeah, just write it down so I can... I, I'm doing that yep, now in yep, the D&D yep. notes section, darling. All right. <laughs> this is why the D&D notes portion exists. Mm -hmm. That existed to be ignored. I mean, yeah, because we usually just shit post in general. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got two questions. That's two questions. And yeah, other, I like those. And then the third one is uh, Should I kill Grovel? I don't oh, think yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean, just saying. <laughs> I, I think no the other question to... covers the other one. <laughs> I'd say if no one's going to like uh, try and say no, then yeah, I'll, I'll ask. Well, you also don't know who's going to be answering these questions for you. It's pretty much just a random celestial, otherworldly creature or a god. You're not sure. Is it? I think that's how commune works. No, I'm not doing communion. I'm doing divination. Oh, divination. Hardcore nice. magic. Well, commune works the, that way <laughs> that I was describing. <laughs> uh, Wait, no, okay, never, never mind. Never mind. Is, is this commune? It is commune? It is commune? Okay. Okay. Let me check. Um, uh, because it's all sorts of weird. Yeah, yeah, commune is the... the it's the... Um, it's the yes or no question. Yep, yes or no Boom question. Boomcrash wants to know if delivering this thing will help um, a Taurus at all, but that's purely selfish. <laughs> also, I mean, that's you... kind of obvious because, you know, it's an organization that is for a Taurus, so any kind of thing that worked we for him. Don't we don't know that specifically. We don't have I strongly a... suspect, but we don't actually know. It seems like more... the thing a Taurus would do. <laughs> All oh, right, it no. absolutely does, but... <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm just gonna just straight up ask the question. Uh, in the morning, while I'm doing uh, my creepy uh, witch chants, let's just, uh, I'm gonna ask during that. How about that? Okay. I'll distract everyone by doing a sh trick show with my lizard. You don't even need to distract them. They just think it's no, they, creepy. But I want to. 
Okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to shuffle away and be very embarrassed for you, and I'm going to go and talk to uh, Juliana. Mm. Your guys' is loss. Okay. I have all these animal parts that the lizard likes to play with. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dead. Dead. you creepy dead. fuck. Well, this is during the <laughs> long rest. Amon is doing this at the end of the long rest, correct? That is correct. Yeah, okay. in the morning. Uh, so, boom like crash. All, you... all of you are annoying me, so I gotta, I gotta log out and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Amon checks out. He just sits down and then his head lolls. Um, boom crash. You head over to talk to Juliana. Uh, it looks like she is doing some spell preparation of her own. Zoom also Holy gets shit. a natural oh, 20 snap. on his performance check, which I was going to get to later. <laughs> but, uh, Boom Crash, you can hear from behind you the performance starting. Um, it's probably going to go for a while. Uh, Zumasu <laughs> begins dancing around. Uh, the lizard it's w is wagging its tail. Uh, Mortimer leaps uh, over a bunch of various things, including people who are trying to sleep. Um, as Zumasu tosses various animal parts to it, uh, which it leaps up to grab happily. It is a worthwhile performance and some much needed levity, surprisingly, for all of the people here uh, who laugh at the uh, strange antics going about. Boom Crash, knowing Zumasu better, uh, puts her uh, talon up to her eyes and uh, averts her gaze. <laughs> I did a good job. I'm I'm fine with this. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you, but I don't have to be here to support it. <laughs> uh, Juliana was preparing spells, but she has been temporarily distracted by the lizard. Uh, then you walk over to her. Oh, uh, what's up, Boomcrash? No, just wanted to say hey. Um, so, Grubble mentioned that you guys ran into some plant things. Um, did you make out okay? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we're fine. Uh, okay. We're we're sort of used to being on our own, uh, honestly. Uh, what with you guys going off so frequently to do your own adventures and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sorry about that. We split the party a lot, and that's usually not how you should do things. Um, it's it's fine. Um, my banishment didn't help much because there were so many of them. But I do also have another fancy little spell. Uh, that I like to call Ice Storm. Uh, Ooh, it's, that sounds like fun. It's the most powerful spell that I have right now. I can only use it once a day, but it's it's worth it if there's a whole bunch of enemies. That sounds... I'm I'm jazzed. I'm really jazzed, and I'm sort of like jumping oh up gosh. and down a little bit. <laughs> well, if you ever need it, just, just shout. Uh, I, I will probably save it until we really need it, and you guys probably have a better handle of a situation than I would. I mean, we'll definitely let you know, and we'll keep communicating. So, yeah, just wanted to check in and see how you were doing. Um, and also, like, ask if you felt weird about me telling you that I'm a warlock. No, if... uh, it's... People choose their own paths, and like I said, I'm... I chose my own path away from the Arcane College and joined up with the Vintners of all people. But <laughs> they took me in, and... I consider them sort of my found family, as I'm sure that you do funny? with your dark lady. What? What? Abs um, I actually managed to sneak in, and I'm technically a student, quote unquote, of the Arcane College. What? Really? <laughs> I managed to dupe them, and I actually stole some kids' lunch money in a duel. It was really fun. So, <laughs> I, if uh. you're learning spells like Ice Storm, then I think you're better off without. <laughs> well. I, I must admit, seeing some of your magic has helped inspire me a bit. Um, you know, when I do see it, she yeah. air quotes and giblet <laughs> flies around her head, chittering happily. <laughs> well, uh, you're a good dude, giblet. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I hope you're enjoying yourself, but, you know. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Well, if you okay, ever need well... to learn spells, I'm I'm always here. Yeah, I'll pray to my dark lady and see if she'll be okay with it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Time will tell. Sure. But I hope that we can keep in touch once we're back above ground and hopefully learn more in the meantime. She kind of like looks at you and looks down and uh, just kind of like looks side to side and calls Giblet over. 
Um, she uh, pulls out a piece of parchment with giblet uh, looming over her shoulder, and then she uh, holds her hand over the page. And some runes appear, uh, and then just rearrange themselves into letters before going into black ink. And she hands it to you. Here's my address. I I'm in Alore. You can find me there. Awesome. Looking oh. forward to it. Thank you. She smiles yeah. and goes back to her work. <laughs> I that is not in character, but I am doing a little bit of a happy dance and skipping away. <laughs> you skip away and go. <laughs> 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 Woo! We're just hearing the inside of of Boom Crash's brain. Yeah, she didn't realize she's still at the group chat active. <laughs> Sorry, you had to hear that. <laughs> you really like my performance that much? Yeah, buddy. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what about, uh, you know, talking The important to, uh... stuff. <laughs> well, as Boomcrash uh, heads back to her folks, uh, you guys I was set up... Because the caster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amon, you have uh, been meditating, but taking this time uh, of distraction, you are able to cast Commune. You have lit uh, incense around you, uh, and you use a vial of presumably unholy water, and just spill it along the ground as this uh, steam rises up from the unholy water and it forms into this cloud before you. It fills your nostrils and you are beset with visions of divinity. What questions do you ask, mortal? Lord Cablos, I must beseech thee. I must ask. Will uh, our current quest, with the completion of the delivery, uh, guarantee uh, me and my companions immediate safely until we arrive at our domicile? You receive a feeling of comfort, and you interpret this to be one, the sweet uh, welcoming embrace of death, but also uh, you know that. For Encabulos, that actually means yes. It's getting too real there, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Okay, um... And uh, I must beseech thee once more. Uh, is there... Um... Is there anyone in the... The group that is not... Uh, my immediate companions? Um... Who does not want to deliver... Our charge. Uh, you receive a vision that is a scent of foul sulfur, but uh, this is merely a negative in uh, response to the question. You interpret this as a no. They all want to deliver the item. Okay, that's good to know. Should the demon spawn kill Grovel? <laughs> you receive a uh, a feeling of open air, like the uh, the widespread desert, just open to possibility. You interpret this as a up to you, homeboy. <laughs> The divine oh. presence fades from your being, and you snap back awake. <laughs> Grovel's just kind of like looking at you, arcing an eyebrow, but he goes back to whittling something. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> okay, dead boy. I got a hot chick's number. What do you got? Group chat. <laughs> Did anyone see my show? <laughs> Um, no one gives a shit. Redhead? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was a little distracted. <laughs> Mortimer How'd you so do? Proud of it. Oh, Mortimer oh. aced it. Oh, you mean Amon? <laughs> oh, my, my answer is that yes, no, maybe. Maybe so? Repeat the question. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, I mean, it is literally yes, no, maybe. It so, really was. Uh, damn it. Okay, uh, yeah. that's still good uh, to know. Um, 
So that means we shouldn't have to worry about anybody wrecking this mission other than us. Yeah, it's we're, we're the ones who want it. Who, if we're gonna wreck it, we're gonna be the ones to wreck it. Um, so don't don't wreck it. You're like don't wreck it. Just just complete the contract. Complete. The yeah. Contract. Be honorable. Your be god fixed. says that we'd be safe, so I guess that's all right. How much do you trust your god? His god's uh, a terrible deity, but it seems like he would be honest. I mean, he's a. Mm. He's Aren't committed. You an expert? He's a god. I just assume he doesn't need to give a shit. He can say whatever he wants. That's kind of what I was saying. So why would he deceive in that regard? So I, I say uh, we just let it be. I say we drop this. We just let it be. And then the, and then the, and I I whisp, uh, I whisper to uh, Boomcrash like the, uh, your vengeance can be uh, sated elsewhere. Okie dokie. Artichoke, that's all I need to know. <laughs> right. Fine. Uh, this is nearing the end of the long rest. Is there anything you guys need to do before Rubble starts packing you guys up? Go and harass Hotch for more arrows. Yeah, alright. I can try and get you that... some more arrows. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a man falling off the ground. Let me just uh, make a little check here. Just constantly walking behind Boom Crash. I'm like, ooh, there's another one. <laughs> All right, Hotch is going to make an intelligence check, uh, and they're going to add double it's their proficiency. Crystals, uh, crystal shards uh, are powerless. They would have made a good arrowhead if they still have power. Yeah. Okay, that's an eighteen. Did I did I give a calculation for this or? Mm. Okay. Well, I think it was like. I got four last time. I think it was one d four arrows. Um, if he like succeeds, maybe I didn't even do a check last time, but either way. All right. Well, no. Let's let's do two d four. Okay, you get four more arrows. Yeah. Huzzah. All right. Uh, yeah. During the uh, long rest, Hotch did some uh, wood carving. He enlisted Grovel to help him. Uh, but you guys, uh, get, he gets you some more arrows with some uh, fletching from Boom Crash feathers. Uh, all right. So the long rest is completed. Bjorn appears uh, near you guys, uh, popping up from out, uh, out, out under the ground. Ready to go? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, head, head on, head on towards the blue yeah. people. This LLZ. blue group of men. They'll do good. And Bjorn is off. Okay. Um. First, travel check. Do we still have Volo's guide? We yep. gave that up, didn't yeah. we? No, you no I still have it. Okay. Can you look through that? Maybe there's some weird, monstrous people? Wait a second. Um, does, is Bjorn in this thing? Or the... 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 the sign things? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, like, we could always update this and then try to sell it back to him. <laughs> well... Actually, that's not a bad idea. I mean, you're probably exploring further than he did. Exactly. Uh, so we could totally just like co-author, yeah, or like ask him, "Hey, we got this version. We're gonna sell unless you want to buy it." I do thing. have extra parchment. I can totally craft and sew some stuff in. I say do it, and then we can negotiate with him and get. Oh that. wait, I'm on. Shit, really? <laughs> I'm not Sorry. sure. Like, I'm not sure. That would be interesting. Let's go. <laughs> well, hey, if, if it's true, then we'll meet Tropos again. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh, and I'm really glad that I'm level 10 now. <laughs> I must have missed a key phrase while I was doing some dice rolling. What's no, up? Ta we talk to it's each other in our brain space. Um, it's called general As chat. in general chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. We keep our secrets from UDM. Oh, I see. Chris only checks the general afterward and he giggles at everybody's responses. Yeah, I'm I'm too busy. All right. <laughs> uh so um All right, there are no encounters uh this time around. Uh so we continue. Bjorn starts leading you ever further into the jungle boar. Do 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 do. 
Uh, these? There, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like not clicking. Oh, it did it twice. Okay. Well, we'll take the first one. Uh, so, as you are traveling along this way, uh, it's starting to get around the eight hour mark. Um, looks like there's going to be an encounter. Good, right? Yay! Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> right. So, uh, as you guys are going along, uh, you guys see that uh, there appears to be... Uh, actually, I'll do a perception check to see who spots this. So I'll get a roll from each of you, percept. I'm not good at this. Damn it. Can my can my steed do it too? Uh sure. I'll Damn allow it. that. Wow, I can't the first time I'm rolling so low. I think plus my steed eight. is just plus one. Okay, so yeah, we got exactly. we have a twenty two perception from Mao. That seems to be the highest. So Mao is the first to spot it. Perhaps she's scouting ahead, uh, where the Bjorn's like right behind the Bjorn. Um the Bjorn. As the usual. <laughs> the Zorn. Named Bjorn. Um, so, Mao, uh, you are following behind Bjorn, and you spy that there appears to be uh, a skeletal uh, body just lying in a patch of, like, ground. Um, sorry, a patch of plants. Uh, oh no, not again. There's, like, a uh, it's like a copse of flowers and trees and whatnot, uh, but there was just like a leg sticking out and after you kind of went closer to observe, you see that they actually have a big backpack uh, laden with gear and such and they have a crowbar in their limp hand. Ooh! Hey Bjorn, do people usually go through this area? Bjorn can't say. Do more Bjorn the Zorns come through this area or just you? Zorn's not common. Okay. Uh, hold on. Before we continue, can you wait a bit? Bjorn will stop. Thank you. I run back to the party, and I inform them of this juicy little piece of treasure that I found, but I do not want to touch the plants, because I'm afraid they're going to kill me. Okay. I'll so help. I who the herbologist hey, don't be a pussy. Do. Just touch the damn plants. Ow. Touch it now. <laughs> I point to Bonecrash. Can't you just use mage hands to see if it's, like, dug in there first? Yeah, I mean, do that. but there's a five pound weight limit <laughs> to mage hand. Yeah. I mean, or is it a ten pound weight limit? Oh, I think it's ten pounds. Okay, okay it's 10 I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> Either, gonna are, in. You or Rizzo? Rizzo likes plants. Let her touch them. I cast no, two no, strikes on go myself. In. I'm going in. You're going in? Uh, yeah. not, not waiting for anybody? Yeah, because I can teleport out. That's fair. So. That's fair. Has spoken. He is touching the dead plants. No, okay. I'm touching the dude. I'm, I'm grabbing the dude. I need the skull. <laughs> need that skull. Need that hot skull. Uh, you start uh, pushing aside like these giant bulbous leaves and whatnot, uh, heading towards the thing. Uh, you can see that uh, the corpse is before you. You also see that there are a few more around uh, in similar fashion, just skeletal remains with nothing much left except their equipment. Um... Meanwhile, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ah. Uh, there's the rub. Uh-oh. There's the rub. You head into uh, this area, and uh, those of you who are like following him and saying, No, wait! We need to wait for Rizzo! Uh, you just see him collapse. <sighs> Ah, frig, I run over to try and pick him up and pull him away. Uh, well, well, we do have a bit of an issue here, because I am going to need you all to roll for initiative. Okay. Yay. I'm, I'm always so slow. I am so fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I am fast asleep. Just take a nap. <laughs> You're just going to turn into one of those creepy, creepy little corpses that are just caught in prayer, like... Kind of poses from Maiden Abyss. Yay! No, I don't know why you're here. 
I have it, the second season coming out this year, so I haven't paid attention. Yay. Sorry, I'm getting ready here. Yeah, get excited, yeah the, get, get excited for the get get excited for the best uh, dad in anime 2020. No, but the movie should have been out. Wait, there was a movie? Yeah. Yeah. I'll drop links in general. All right. Is it just like a compilation thing, or is it like? I don't know. That's why I'll drop links so that we don't distract Chris. Okay. All righty. Let. Oh, do we have to re-roll for initiative again? Oh, god dang it. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Uh, yeah, hold on a second before you do. I'm gonna remove all the turns. Uh, this is stupid. I hate this. <laughs> and I Grubble, am still fast asleep. Grubble oh, no, will represent the group asleep. as per Ooh. usual. I am not the fastest asleep. <laughs> Okily dokily then. Uh, so, uh, as you guys uh, rush over to Amon, um, you see the ground beneath him swell, and these large flowers uh, appear and start to bloom in, in front of you. There's like this yellowish fog hanging around the creature, uh, and Amon is on top of it, incapacitated. Um, alrighty. Uh, so, boom crash. It is your turn first. Fuck. <laughs> um, I move out a little ways, and... Um, yeah, because I cast True Strike. And... Yeah, I'll do that. So, Witch's Bolt. All right, you cast Witch's Bolt. So... Does a 25 hit? Uh, I'ma just check stuff. Uh, yeah, a uh, 25 does hit, and it is not immune to lightning. I just have to check because the shambling mound heals from lightning and such. <laughs> okay, and I think I'm at level five casting right now. Yep, I believe Sweet. so. Yep. You hold up your talons, and electricity starts sparkling out from them. Uh, the electricity is, of course, shadowy and black like that of your dark lady. It reaches out towards the monster, uh, and is going to deal some damage. Roll for that. Oh, wait, was I supposed to reroll? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, still next. I'm still not hearing yet, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so it 5 appears to be last. Yep. Damn, 34 damage. Uh, you take a large chunk out of its health um, as it uh, begins like bursting and popping all over the place. Uh, however, uh, as soon as you do this, some of the corpses fall off of it and then start to rise up. Oh, fuck. Awesome. <laughs> they start shambling towards you little flowers embedded in their skulls. One of them has it, like, coming out of its eye. And we're gonna add them to the initiative. How cute. Oh, cute. <laughs> How rude. It's better than a Tyrannosaurus vomiting up zombies. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, boom crash. Your turn is over. It is mm -hmm. the team's turn. Uh, Grovel is going to grab their crossbow and head over here. Let go of my friend, you ass! Oh, that does hit. That's good. That's good. Uh, okay, Grovel hits it for 8 piercing damage. Uh, it launches into a fairly worthwhile space. Uh, Ostrich is going to head over here. Uh, how far was that, Herpter? 25 feet, about. It's like 30, so that's a move action. Uh, Ostrich is going to rush up to the thing, uh, and try to climb up it, uh, which is unfortunately going to trigger a saving throw from them. Ostrich rushes in, uh, and starts coughing. <coughs> My god, it stinks like death! Um, so Ostrich is going to try and climb upon it, but we'll have to wait until next turn. Um, 
Meanwhile, Peggy is going to go over uh, just around this side here and shoot a crossbow. All right, uh, that's going to be two hits, including a natural 20. So Woo! that's good. Go, um, girl, go. So that's going to be eight radiant. Then 11 radiant plus a d8. Plus 18. Damn. Uh, okay, it, fla it creates a big flash, but uh, it is immune to blindness, so it doesn't do anything. Uh, meanwhile, Barty is going to yell at Zumasu. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, uh, he'll yell at Zumasu. Zumasu, get in there! We have to save them! Okie dokie. Uh, you can move up to your movement speed without provoking attacks. So you can okay. move wherever you want to. Okay. Uh, there we go. Rizzo is going to, meanwhile, make a inopportunely timed nature check. <laughs> I... Wait, actually, diagonal works as a one area too, right? Uh, I forget what I have yeah. it set as. Um, it's set as D&D &D 5e. I don't like that, but that's fine, I guess. Well, basically, if I can count diagonal movements, I could be right next to it. Yeah, you can do that, then. Oh. Uh, so, Rizzo has not seen uh, a creature like this before, unfortunately. Uh, she is at a loss to figure out uh, what it can and can't do. But it looks hostile. Hotch is going to enter a rage. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, and rush over to this zombie. Uh, however, Hotch starts coughing as well. Uh, thankfully, they have advantage on Constitution saves because you're nearby. Uh, and that is enough. Uh, Hotch is fine, uh, and Hotch is going to attack. Uh, they can make two attacks. Okay, uh... Oh, actually, do zomb zombies have really low AC, right? Zombies do have low AC, because both of those are hits. Uh, okay, that's going to be... 13 damage. Then 6 damage. Uh, the zombie is not looking too hot. Uh, Hotch has lopped off some of its limbs. Uh, meanwhile, Juliana is going to stay back this time around. Uh, she doesn't want to get too close to the thing. Amon, your turn ends with you being incapacitated, but... Um, hold on, I need to remember how it works. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Time to die. Okay, uh, you need to make a new save. Alright. Then Zumasu, you are up after this. Alright. Okay. Uh, Does it do anything? Yes, uh, you are just barely uh, able to open your eyes awake. You are no longer incapacitated, but that is the end of your turn. Uh, Zumasu, it's your turn. Okay, so can you... I get, without spending any actions, can I pretty much tell that this thing is probably evil or fiendish or something, or do I have to do perception? Uh, you can, that would probably be a religion check to figure out if it's like an evil outsider. Can I do that real quick? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately you haven't seen this thing either. From what you can tell, it's either a plant or an undead or both. Okay, well, can I reach it from here? Does that count as still within reachableness? Yes. Okay. I'm a bonus action. One second, I just gotta choose myself. Just gotta shoot yourself? <laughs> No, no, no. I'm going to use binding, Blinding Smite. So, bonus action, charge up my shot. Swing at it. Alright. Uh, your weapon crackles with electricity that is brighter than normal. 21 hit. A 21, of course, hits. Also, what is this aura around you that I just noticed? Oh, I still have the stupid aura. Don't worry, I'll get rid of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, one second. Do, 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 do. Okay, so first I roll my longsword damage, and I'm also going to Divine Smite as a bonus action. 
Oh, four damage. Oh, three D eight radiant. No. And then I'm expending a divine smite. All right. It is not a fiend or undead, uh, so it doesn't yeah. get the two D eight bonus, but you still get your normal bonus. <sighs> All right. Uh, so you rush over to the thing. Uh, hold up your sword and stab into the thing. Electricity surges throughout it. Uh, it's now like crackling with both like white lightning and black lightning uh, as the thing uh, is starting to fall apart. You see flowers like falling off of it and whatnot. Um, is it blinded? Uh, constitution saving throw. It does not have bias. <laughs> it is. It is immune to the blind condition. Peggy tried that. Okay, I'm gonna swing again. All right. That hit. That will hit. Another sm Three damage. Did you say you're smiting? Yep. That's a little better. That is a little better. All right. Uh, the thing is starting to look even more haggard. Is that it for your turn? Yep. Mao, it is your turn. I will run up to it and assassinate it, because it hasn't had a turn yet. It hasn't had a turn yet. That is accurate. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's a 21. That's gonna hit. Uh, yeah, deal that damage. I deal that oh, damage. Oh, it, it, do it does do the damage for you. I deal it. Gotcha. And then, I guess, bonus action, hide... Depends on how far away it is. Do I have movement? Uh, yeah, you have movement. Okay, so I'll bonus action hide. Okay, uh, so you uh, take out your short bow and it flies true towards what you t what you take to be the largest plant bulb. Uh, it slams into the creature uh, and it starts spewing out this sap-like secretion and you hear like a strange squeal uh, echo throughout the cavern. These zombies start echoing this uh, this screech. Okay. Meanwhile, additional zombies start piling out of it. Um, do 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 and do do. No bueno. Alrighty. Okay. So next it is this zombie's turn. Oh, hold on. I need to add these boys. Add the others. Yeah. Okay, I think I added them. Let's put it in... Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not easy. Descending order. Now I just need to progress it to... There. Okay. Uh, so they're all going last. That's easy. So this dude uh, is going to reach out and grab at Zumasu, who is dealing so much damage to its like flowery master, but it misses awfully. Uh, meanwhile, this one is going to head over to Hotch and slam into him. I uh, forget what Hotch's AC is. Yeah, it is low, so that's going to hit, but Hotch has resistance to damage. So he only takes a few. Uh, meanwhile, it is the thing's turn. Alright. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, uh, so the uh, corpse thing is going to... Oh, it reaches that. Okay. Uh, the giant lumbering thing uh, with Amon on it uh, is going to make an attack against Amon. Uh, here we go. Well, I am prone right now, so feel free. Alright, well it misses you. Uh, that still misses. <laughs> uh, and then it's going to make an attack against uh, Ostrich and Zumasu. This is going to be Ostrich. That's going to miss him. Miss him. Uh, and Zumasu. Wow, I cannot roll today. Um, hey. The thing starts flailing around its uh, vine-like tendrils. Uh, Ostrich tumbles and ducks out of the way. Uh, Zumasu easily deflects the thing, perhaps chopping off a tiny bit of it. Then, uh, the creature just starts uh, crawling up a nearby tree, and it starts 
going higher and higher. Uh, it goes out of reach of you guys, uh, 20 feet into uh, the heights of the cavern. Uh, it climbed up a tree, essentially. Uh, yeah. And it's going to end its turn. Next, this zombie is going to head over here and start attacking Ostrich. <laughs> and it misses. The last one is going to attack Ostrich. <laughs> Uh, does that finally hit him? Hit him? That just barely hits Ostrich. Ostrich takes a whopping thunderous three damage. <laughs> Boom crash, it is your turn. How far is the range on Witchbolt? Um, let's scroll up and look. That's not that. Oh, it's 30 feet. Shit. Okay, uh, it crawls out of range of your Witchbolt. Uh, actually... Do you, do you still? Was I even in range? <laughs> I don't think so, but I can assume that you walked up to okay. it close enough. We'll we'll just put you like right here, or okay. here. Um, okay. Yeah, the spell does end if it moves out of your range. So it did move out of your range in this case. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay. Uh, you lose can the I connection. Still see it? You can still see it. It's just up in the sky. Okay, Eldritch Blast. Natural 20! Woo! Okay, you deal 14 damage to it. Uh, it squeals, and Amon, I'm gonna have you make a dexterity saving throw. I think I automatically fail if I'm pro. Let me check. No, uh, I'm gonna say that you can make it. You can attempt it. Alright, uh, you have two options here. You can choose to hang on to it, or else you will be uh, shoved out of the tree. You are 20 feet above uh, the ground. I can shove out. I'll take some damage. Why not? Alright, uh, you uh, see what Booncrash is doing. The uh, creature is like pushed along the tree limbs uh, 10 feet away, uh, just struggling to hold on, but Amon tumbles out of the tree. Uh, Amon, you're going to take a cool... Seven damage. <laughs> as you exactly tumble average. out of the tree. <laughs> oh, it's only D6? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll just blast again. Yep. I thought fall damage was uh, much more than that. I did too. Uh, Alright, so that's gonna hit. And deal another 11 damage. Uh, what was the damage you did before? Oh, it was 14. Okay. 14. All right, it takes another 11 damage. Uh, as it's uh, crawling up there, you see that the tree around it is starting to wither. It seems to be growing in strength a bit, uh, replenishing a bit of its own life force energy. Um, anything else for you, Boomcrash? Um, um, because my spell ended, I'm going to back my little birdie butt up like a couple feet. <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Also, I just realized that not all the zombies are in the order. This one is not in the order. Okay, cool. I'll just put it in the order. Uh, okay, looks like it is the Trekker's turn. Uh, Ostrich is going to uh, take their bow and shoot up at it. Yeah, actually, no. Ostrich's surrounded by zombies. I think it's sword time. Okay, uh, Ostrich is going to get a hit on both of these guys. Uh, okay. I could use a little help over here, Ostrich shouts. Uh, meanwhile, Grubble uh, is going to rush in, dropping their crossbow in favor of a Morningstar and Spore Mace combo. Uh, with two hits, unfortunately, the things are immune to poison, as they are wont to do from being born of a poisonous plant. Uh, okay, this guy's gonna take nine, then another seven to go to one. Meanwhile, Peggy is going to shoot up at the creature, approaching a little as she goes. And gets another Neat. crit, because that's just how she rolls. She gets crits, and 
beats shits. Uh, okay, that's going to be uh, another 11 radiant damage. And then another d8 to add to this crit. Uh, an 8, so that's another 16 damage. Alright, this creature is uh, starting to uh, lose a lot of its leaves as it just starts shaking uh, them out of its uh, its lair up there. Uh, Rizzo doesn't know much what she can do to help here. Juliana is going to try and enter the fray using Giblet as her eyes. Uh, let's do a Ray of Frost. 23 Skidoo. That misses. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Barty, uh, can't really do much help here, uh, but Barty will uh, yell to uh, Amon to get to your feet. You can use your movement to move up to your move speed, which I will say can allow you to get up from prone. Alright, I'll just get up from prone. Alright, uh, sounds good. And it's actually, uh, it's actually your turn. Oh, no, wait, All Hutch right. needs to go. Sorry. Okay. There's, there's a ton of them. Stealing my thunder. Thunder stolen. Uh, Hotch is going to finally chop the head off of this zombie. Yeah, take that, you filthy little skeleton, bro! Uh, and is going to deal eight damage to this other one. Taking chunks. All right, I'm on. Now it is your turn. All right, I gotta do some chanting. Uh, channel uh, divinity and uh, turn uh, undead. Ooh, all right. Uh, so these guys are going to need to make, what is it, uh, Charisma? Wisdom? Uh, let me check. Well, they're both terrible. I'll just roll. <laughs> all right. Uh, so going left is to right. Is it wisdom? Okay, yeah. well, then I was doing it right. Is your DC 15? Because the rest yeah, failed. Yeah, and also, uh, if they're... I don't know the CR, but they, if they're uh, less than uh, half CR, uh, the automatic is just destroyed. Oh, okay. So, uh... And, sorry again, the DC again? Oh, uh, DC, uh, let me, let me check. Uh, I, think, I think it's based on... I think it's the same uh, as, like, your spellcasting. Let me see. Channel Divinity... Da, 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 16 da, 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 for you, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so they all failed. Uh, you hold up your shield uh, and invoke the powers uh, over death that you wield so willingly. And all of the undead turn towards you uh, as the light from your Eye of Encabulos on your shield starts to glow... Uh, the jaws of the collective zombies start to drop, uh, and they hold their hands in front of their eyes as they are melted out of their sockets, which there wasn't anything in there in the first place, but a light comes out of their uh, sockets, and then they crumble into dust. Uh, you hear a shrieking up from the uh, strange flower as several other body parts just start falling out of it. You see skulls that are actually screaming as they fall uh, and pile up near you, Amon. Oh, nice. They're all gathering in a single spot. Good. <laughs> uh, okay, Zumasu, it is your turn. So, the zombies ran away, and this thing's just shrieking while it's high in the no, tree? the zombies are all dead. The zombies were destroyed. Oh. oh, not just scared away. Okay, what about the thing up there? It's just shrieking and writhing? Uh, nope. The there, there are a bunch of corpses, like, embedded in it, and those were shrieking. The plant okay. itself seems to be fine. But it's 20 feet in the air. Yes. On a tree. Uh, is the tree like overhanging or can I climb up the tree? You can attempt to climb the tree. I could. I'm gonna attempt to climb the tree. Right, make an athletics check. Okay, well. Where'd my buttons go? I don't know. Gotta click on your character, dude. There we go. I don't know, bruh. There we go. 19. Right. Can I get to it in time? Alright, uh, it? it's a Back. fairly. Uh, fairly limbful tree so you're able to get some footholds and are able to pull yourself up uh you can move up to half speed while climbing uh so if you do one movement you will be able to get uh you'll be 10 feet away from it can i spit acid on it or spit poison yeah you can do that if you uh go up there 
So you can use one move action to climb 15 feet up the tree, uh, and as you get close to the thing, you can hear it hissing. You see the skulls still falling out of it with their eyes glowing purple, uh, and you spit acid at it. S blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love the stupid animation. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, you spit poison on it, but it doesn't seem to be affected. It appears to be immune. Damn it. I shake my sword at it. I'll get you next time. Uh, Mao, it is your turn. I'll smack it. I'm going to move in from hiding, I guess. Or out of hiding and just shoot at it. Alrighty. Uh, that's gonna hit. And you have sneak attack. 19 piercing damage. Ooh, sneak attack. Should doop a doop. Uh, it I slams. Two ones in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, your sneak attack is like 4d6 and you got a 9. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, well, your sneak attack collides with it, uh, but it doesn't seem to be doing as much as you'd want. Um,. The creature is still fumbling about, still grasping onto some form of life, uh, but this cloud is starting to uh, reach Zumasu, who thankfully seems unaffected. Um, anything else for your turn? Uh, no, let's go. No bonus action? A bonus action, hide. You tumble behind Mortimer, who knows <laughs> where you are, but, you know, you're hidden. Uh, okay, <laughs> it is the creature's turn. Uh, it is going to grasp at Zumasu and hit. Uh, okay, no. you are immune to the poison damage, so you only take 11 bludgeoning as it uh, whips its tentacle at you. It's going to fully unload, though. Nope. Okay, but the other attacks do not hit. Um, oh, do... Do creatures have advantage against climbing targets? That's not a thing, is it? I have no idea. I mean, I'm not restrained. I know you're I not guess. restrained, but it's, like, harder Would to dodge. Would you want me to make, like, an athletic checks or something just so I don't, like... I'm just wondering if it has advantage on you. I have no idea. Uh, either way, we'll say it doesn't hit. Okay, uh, so that is the end of its turn. It uh, is going to climb higher up into the tree... Uh, just far enough that it'll probably take two move actions to get to it, Zumasu. Rude. <laughs> it moves, uh, t 15 feet away from you. Uh, further up the tree. So it is now a total of 35 feet above the ground. Boom Crash, it's your turn. Um, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Alright. You shoot an Eldritch Blast at it, and that's going to hit. Neat. You deal 14 force damage as it is blasted, uh, just grasping on with bare life uh, onto this tree with its tentacles, uh, as another blast collides with it, dealing another 13 force damage. This thing is not looking so good. Uh, it is starting to lose... Uh, base form, like, there were clumps and chunks of grave dirt within it, and they have all but fallen out of the thing, revealing it to be just this one giant tangly plant. Uh, it just kind of looks like a tangela with little, like, well, with giant yellow buds on top of it. Uh, anything else from you, Boom Crash? Nope. I'm staying here. <laughs> Alright, it's the team's turn. Uh, Grovel is going to, uh, go over here, grab their crossbow, and fire up at it. Peggy as well. Okay, no hits from Grubble, but Peggy got two. Because Peggy is a boss, that's going to be a total 15 blinding. Uh, 15 radiant. Uh, Hotch can't reach the damn thing. He just uh, sits at the bottom of the tree and uh, yells, You bastards! I'm just going to do what the hell that I was born to do! What I... And then he takes his uh, axe and starts chopping at the base of the tree. Um, Juliana is going to shoot up a ray of frost. And miss. That's what happens when you're blind, I suppose. Um, meanwhile, Ostrich is going to t 
take out their bow and start shooting. Getting one hit for a mere eight damage. Uh, and... I think that's everyone. Does any... Oh, oh, actually, uh, Barty uh, yells to Zumasu, Zuzu, there's a branch! Uh, there's a branch near you! Okay. Gra grab it! You can move up to your movement up. speed. Climb up another 15 feet, so I'm just 5 feet away from it now. Alright, that that was actually very helpful. Thank you, Barty. Um, <laughs> uh, should I just do an athletics check to make sure, or what? Yes, uh, you will need an athletics check. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you uh, successfully climbed it. Alright, Amon, it is your turn. Alright, I think uh, it's a plant. I think it's blight time. It's the so. right time for a blight time to melt All the right. plant away. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry, actually. I just... <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do uh, 88 necrotic damage. If it is if it is a plant, mm -hmm, I assume it's a plant, it's going to make a saving throw with disadvantage, and it's going to deal uh, maximum damage to it. Okay, uh, it gets a 10. Okay, it fails. If it's a plant, it's going to do uh, uh, 64 the, the necrotic damage. All right, uh, you wither the plant away uh, as it grasps towards Zumasu. Um, it the tentacle just starts to uh, s drain up and wither up like a little raisin, uh, and the rest of it, it's uh, like yellow buds just deflate and like yellow gas comes out of it, and it's kind of making you cough, Zumasu, but its poison's not affecting you, uh, and the thing starts to loosen its grip. And then it starts to fall out of the tree. Zumasu, I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh, one second. Oh no. Alright, uh, so the plant collides with you, Zumasu. It's full weight falling on top of you. You. Uh, lose your grip on the tree and start to fall beneath it. Ostrich is as well going to need to make a dexterity saving throw. I mean, at least it was only five feet that it started falling. Uh, oh, he's fine. Ostrich does like three backflips uh, and leaps out of the way. Hotch, meanwhile, uh, keeping an eye on what's going on, just shouts out, TIMBER! <laughs> and uh, the plant falls out and smooshes Zumasu. Uh, Zumasu, you are going to take, uh, let's say, let's say 5d10 damage. You take 29 bludgeoning damage as it collides on top of you. Ouch. But, it is defeated. Uh, there were some other, like, remains within it, but they were destroyed by the uh, turn undead from Amon earlier. So, yeah, great success, guys. How many skulls are there? <laughs> I'll tell you. There are... <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, this is awkward. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Only one, one so, uh, survived the fall. No, Let's no. Like that. Um, so there, there were the five... Uh, that were on the ground. Uh, actually, no. I think you just burned them all up. I think turn on yeah. dead. It just it just destroys them. So I will say there was okay. one surviving one. So you got a skull. Uh, meanwhile, uh, after everybody collects themselves, um, we uh, start looting the corpse. Or the cops, yeah. as it was. I just wanted yeah. the bag. Can I loot what's oh, in no, this stupid like tangle? Bags. Uh, yeah. So, make investigation checks all. I caught dibs on the thing that fell on me. Well, you're the closest to it, so to speak. Oh, God. My, my rolls are not good in terms of skills. Oh, 
Hold on, I'm just rolling for what's in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, two, three, ten. <laughs> okay, so, uh, for you guys, uh, Mao and Zimasu have a lot better luck than other people. Boom Crash uh, didn't find too much in there. Uh, but I will say the first thing to pop out at Mao are the shinies, of which there are... Uh, there's not many between them. Uh, there's just a mere um, 23 gold pieces. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. But you guys are able to also find uh, some rations, uh, about 25 or about 20 pounds worth. Uh, it looks like it was just some like salted uh, like meat, but that has since been. Mm, no, actually, the salted meat is fine. It's just 20 pounds of salted meat. Blah, blah. Uh, then you find... Uh, that's interesting. Find... Looks like three sets of healer's kits. Ooh. Okay. Meanwhile... Uh, Zumasu, you also come across... Yeah. Um, it looks like three quivers each with uh you find about 21 arrows between them ah uh, someone wants them yeah i throw them to the side and then i tell now oh you tell me i'm already like i i see them and i'm going over to go pick them up <laughs> anything else inside that stupid tangela uh there actually is hold on a second Do, 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 do. I just need to do some rolling. Second. Because there's a lot of loot on this thing in general. And I just happen to pick things that need a lot of rolls. <laughs> Deck of many things. You already had a bag of beans. You can't have more than that. I just want to create chaos. Okay, it looks like there is a scroll uh, hidden amongst uh, one of the corpses. It had it in like a nice little scroll case made out of wood. Uh, the wood object itself is probably worth like 10 gold pieces, uh, but the real treasure is probably this thing inside. Uh, as, um, as Mao unravels it, it does appear to be a scroll of magicalness. Magicalness. Mm, yeah. Boom crash. You yeet it, boom crash. Boom crash. Uh, make an arcana check. Okie dokie. <laughs> I do mediocre. You do mediocre. This spell seems strange and a bit beyond you. It's also written in uh, sort of a magic that you don't understand. It seems to be of a divine nature. Ooh. Corpse boy. Eh? You no toss response. it to you toss it to him on. <laughs> it, yep. the face. It, boun it, boun it bounces off my head. Nice. Oh, sorry, dude. Pick it up. <laughs> uh, make a religion check, I'm on. Yep, uh, you've seen this before. It's a fairly common spell, especially uh, uh, in your circles. It's a cleric spell called Animate Dead. God damn it, Chris. Why are you making me break my oath? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess it's also a bit ironic that it was on this monster. But either way, that is all that you have found. I'm going to stash it. This power uh, should not belong to anyone. What did you find as I kind of like push off the stupid tangela? Existential horror. Now be gone. The stupid tangela had nothing in it. Do you guys Extra find anything? Moody. Eh, some gold. Arrows. Yeah. The arrows were from the tangela. I, I, I figured. Dead people. People trying to kill it. Unsuccessful. 
sigh. A lay so, sigh. Carry on. My wayward son. I don't think so, yeah. <laughs> I steal some of the stupid tangalo roots for my weird. Like, for your um, weird fetish, yeah, we got it. Just um, be sad that you don't have like a pokeball and you can't catch it. Rizzo starts taking notes about the thing before you guys are off. Uh, do you guys want to take a short rest before you continue? This is going to be the exhaustion roll one. I'm good. No one's, no one's exhausted yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I limp a little. Uh, okay, it looks like a lot of people are exhausted, including Thank Barty, you. Grovel, Peggy, Rizzo. Shit. And me. And Mao. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Guess we're, guess we're pushed onward, though. Yep. So, Amon is fine. A lot of other people... The number of people that are fine is greater than the number of people that are not. It's Amon, Ostrich, Juliana, and Hotch. I say rest. I say rest. Well, either who. We gotta do the travel roll. See if there's an encounter. Thankfully, there is none. Uh, Rizzo, uh... Oh, wait, that's not Rizzo's roll. That's Navigation DC, which we don't need. Okay, there are no encounters. Do you guys wish to rest? Or do you guys wish to keep going? We are almost there, says Bjorn. The rest is good. The, the kids are tired. Also, I don't I don't like the description of the blue folk. This is not metagaming. I just don't like the description of the blue folk. All right. I asked, can we ask Bjorn a few more questions about them? Do they have wiggly faces? Wiggly faces. <laughs> Bjorn think all look the same. Oh. <laughs> I mean, sure. Okay. I, I understand that. I could feel that. Let us rest. Okay. All right. Uh, you guys rest. Uh, get rid of that exhaustion, that pesky thing. Uh, meanwhile, Good. Rizzo seems to have uh, distilled something from the corpse flower that you guys faced. Um, after adding it to her own notes, uh, she creates a wondrous superior healing potion for you guys. Is that the special one? Or just a regular one. All potions she, she creates from now on are max heal. Ooh, that is very nice. Okay. It's not a supreme potion, but it's a uh, superior. So superior healing max? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, and we continue travel for the next day. Uh, it looks like no encounters. So you guys continue on. Um... Do I I we pass we breeze through that long rest. Was there anything that you guys needed to do? Did you need to do another commune or anything? I am yeah. not messing with the box if that's what you're asking. I mean, we sort of decided to not fuck with it. Um, I'm still kind of curious, but I also don't care at this point. Amon <laughs> told me that a Taurus like wasn't involved with this, so. All right. Eh. You, and then we you continue. Will trust me. You yes. Fool. Yes. It's she trusts you because you're a part of her flock. So. Looks like a critical no encounters. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a red box around it. Yeah, we'll go to the left one. Okay. <laughs> um. So, uh, Bjorn takes you guys. Uh, ever further. It seems like there aren't a ton of monsters in this area. Um. <sighs> You guys see that there is like a like stream uh, that you guys have been following for a bit. Um, the area around this place, the caverns are like covered entirely in moss, like going up the walls, uh, not onto the ceiling, but uh, it's also very low here. There aren't as many trees as you're used to in the jungle boar. It's mostly shrubberies and whatnot. Uh, so eventually. Bjorn uh, stops near a cliff where a small trickling waterfall uh, is peeping out uh, over the cliff face. The cliff... I say cliff, but it's only about 15 feet high. Um, and it's completely overgrown with moss. Uh, and it's pouring out of a like 30 foot wide 10 foot... Uh, no, 5 foot tall opening. Almost like a slot in the side wall. And Bjorn says, Blue folk here. 
Okie dokie. Um, mm. Okay, um, because I have uh, resistance to psychic damage, do you want me to go first? Let me come with you because you can get the save bonus. Also, also yeah, if there's any, also if there's any poison, I could care. That makes sense. Okay. Also, also both of your charisma, so you know you guys are the face. But we need yeah. someone to stay with the cart unless we're gonna drag that thing up there. Um, any of you guys want to head with these folks? Let's just do an initial scout and then we can come back. Is that okay? Or do you want Jibla to come with us? And we can call for help if we need it. That's a pretty good idea. And take Ostrich with you as well. I think Ostrich will do fine up there. Awesome. Come here, buddy. Of course. Sorry, I was just fixing my creepy world 20. It was doing that weird ghosty moving about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the Zorn uh, starts like moving up the walls of this place. Uh, Ostrich leaps up onto the side, uh, climbing up to start following you. Um, do, do, do. Do, do, do. Let's get you over there. All right. A babbling brook of fresh water cascades down lush, moss-covered hills before you. Following the stream, you come upon a vast niche. Oh, wait, you, you just entered this niche. Um, you see moss covering the entire ground here. Uh, there's a low-hanging ceiling. It's at max five feet. Uh, most of the time, you guys find yourselves ducking uh, your heads beneath uh, the ceiling here. Uh, as you look about the place, you see several flat stones on the ground, dotting the rolling green knolls, seemingly deliberately placed. Uh, what would you guys like to do? I don't like this. Hide so that... and stay out of sight. Doesn't seem so like that? there's too much space to hide. It's pretty much a field. I don't like it. Ooh, I'm As... standing upright because I'm under five feet tall. Woohoo! There you go. <laughs> Shorty power. Okay. Bjorn, um, can you take us to their leader or something? Uh, yeah. Do I, you have a rapport with them I, at all? Bjorn, come sometimes. And you're on good terms with them? Bjorn He's thinks bringing so. us to them, so let's hope for the best. Okay, buddy, let's go. Uh, so Bjorn, like, kind of walks over towards, uh, the nearest knoll. Um, you guys, uh, suddenly start noticing out of the corner of your eyes, uh, some of the stones are, like, moving. And as you start looking about, you see that they are rising up. And beneath them, you see small humanoid heads peeking out from beneath the holes, uh, that were underneath of them. They have bulbous noses and pointed ears, and their skin is this bluish sort of gray, with white hair covering some of their faces. Many are bald, though. More curious heads begin to peer from beneath the stones and observe you guys. Uh, the Zorn walks over towards the nearest stone, and... Bjorn is here! <laughs> and then it starts speaking in Terran. Um, and then uh, there is a bit of caution as the creatures start to lower the stones uh, just enough so that they can peek out. But then the stone that Zorn, the Zorn knocked on rises up and you see a face uh, come out. Do 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 do. Where is you? Yeah. There we go. That's not what I wanted to copy and paste. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> and then a zombie <laughs> comes out! <sighs> there we go. Okay. Uh, a small, bald creature uh, peers out. Uh, it lifts the stone up, and then it sets it aside, carefully on the ground. 
uh, it seems to whisper at it in Terran. It then starts speaking to the Zorn as well in Terran. There's a bit of a lengthy conversation going on. The small creature starts gesturing towards you guys, uh, and the Zorn keeps, like, gesticulating with its three limbs, but it's a little beyond you to figure out what the hell that means. Um, I it, covertly cast Comprehend Languages. Okay. Uh, I'm not being that covert, but I'm still, yeah. I'm casting it. <laughs> uh, and it eyes you, the creature eyes you as you do this, but uh, it doesn't stop you. You start to understand this uh, Terran language. Um, finally, from what you can get with the end of the conversation, uh, Bjorn says, You can trust Bjorn. And then the other smaller creature says, I will trust you for now. You have brought us many things. We appreciate it. And I think this one can understand me now. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I telepathically sort of, like, I, I bow, and then I telepathically, like, convey to her, or them, um, yes, I cast a spell that allows me to understand you, but I can only communicate with you this way. Is that acceptable? We speak common. She nods her head, and in, uh, Gnomish, she says, we only speak Gnomish here, and I speak Terran. I have communicated with Bjorn many a time in the past. We trade for gemstones. He seems to eat them. Uh, yeah, we found that too. We, he's been serving as our navigator, and we found a cache of amber for him to munch on to pay him. So you deal with him as well. That's good. Well, my we name, ran into him. My name <laughs> is Benegrin. Benegrin Luglo. And... Um. I am the leader of the people here of Mossboro. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Tea Kettle Whistle. And these are my companions. And I introduce everybody appropriately. You start to introduce them. Uh, do you guys say anything? I mean, you they can't really understand you. If you nope. don't speak yeah. Amish. I just ask if they can understand us. <laughs> um, Zoom, uh, I, I Zoom just, also. I, as you uh, open your mouth, Gnomish comes out, and what? you this start sound like com you start screaming at the top of your lungs. You, <laughs> you say in Gnomish, and Boom Crash is the only one that can understand this. Um, besides, of course, the gnomes. You start screaming, "We're here to kill every last one of you, you sniveling little cowards!" Fuck? We are your dominators! You need to Hold leave on. this place or we will kill you all! And Zumasu is going on this ranting tirade, uh, and there seems to be no stopping him. The gnomes that were peering out of their uh, holes slam the rocks shut over their heads, and meanwhile the gnome that you were talking to, this Benegrin, starts backing up. I use hell? my body to block Ow. the way, and I cast True Strike on myself, and I'm like... Demasu, stand down. What the fuck? Yeah, um, so what's going on? I'm gonna need you to make a wisdom saving throw if you wish to stop. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, you briefly regain control of yourself, and you, uh, you can say at least a sentence in common. You have a few seconds to reply. Did he poop? Oh, some bad magic made me do that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, and then you start continuing your tirade. Uh, um, I conveyed to control Benigree my... Bucklow that something is wrong. Silence. He was possessed. Can I, can I walk, can I walk can away? I, I can't silence I can't on him. Uh, you... Uh, do not walk away. You, in fact, start walking towards her. Uh, Zumasu, you cast silence upon this area, and, uh, Zumasu just starts screaming and yelling as you see, like, uh, this swirling darkness, like, uh, start swirling around Zumasu's body. Benegrin, despite Booncrash's urgings, leaps into her burrow and disappears. Uh, Bjorn just kind of, like, looks around and says, 
Bjorn out. Chris, I, <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got a question. Can you hear me? Yes. I heard that you cast so, silence. Yeah, it's hard to hear everyone when everyone talks all at once, and then you mm -hmm. all just sound like little squirrels staring yes. at each other. <laughs> so the reason I'm asking is that like, you said uh, uh, darkness forms. It's like, what is that? Is like a reaction to my magic, or like? Nope. Is, is uh, it, it, it seems to be a part of whatever this is. Also, also, did anyone hear? Because the uh, darkness, I mean, the silence is a bubble, yet. The, the conversation just seemed to go on uh, um, unimpeded, so is the spell not working? Uh, no, it, it impeded it. It just didn't happen until, like, uh, you know, you, you cast it. No, but, like, like we heard the, the Zorn said, out. Oh, then, like, you mean you wanted it to encapsulate them as well? Well, it's an AoE. It just in encapsulates, uh, it's a large bubble. Okay, so. well, uh, Bjorn mentally says... Bjorn out and disappears into the ground. I okay, so didn't realize I, that was important to you. <laughs> well, I, I need to make sure my... Like, oh yeah, your spell did enough. work. You cannot hear anything in okay. this area. Alright. Alright. Alright, so... Okay, that's, that's it. Yeah, so what's happening with my character? Right now, you are stumbling about, uh, your eyes have turned black, and you are just spouting obscenities into the silence. Uh, you are trying as hard as you can to fight it, but you are completely unable to. You pull out your sword and start waving it around maniacally. Okay. Um, shit. Um, you heard me say bad magic's doing something. Um, That's all I got. Uh, ca should I cast a spell? guys? Certainly try, but you're in the area of a silence spell right now. Let's so keep yeah. that in mind. Cancel. Um, hold on. Is Does Eldritch Blast have a verbal component? <laughs> Most spells do. Let me let me put a field. Yeah. So, let's see what I actually can do. I mean, Mal could assassinate. <laughs> I already thought about that. <laughs> can I assassinate non-lethally? Like, go and knock him out? I'm going to say yes. Hallelujah, that's happening. <laughs> okay. Do it. It must like token. Yep, yep. So, should I use scimitar or just use the bow so I don't get that plus two? Up Either two. one. I use the hilt of the scimitar to whack you in the head. Okay, you head over with like the. the if with the bell scimitar guard. you hit. Yep, uh, you head over with the bell guard and just whack it uh, upside Zumasu's head, who takes 48 non-lethal damage. Okay. Um, let me do some math here. I'm at 28. Damn <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't know that, but I look pretty darn Yeah, you bloody Zumasu. Um, Zumasu, I'm going to let you get uh, another wisdom save. Nope. Yeah, uh, you are still uh, trying your best to uh, scream and shout. You are going to go over towards this nearest thing uh, and rip up the rock and start like uh, shooting, like stabbing your longsword down there. You then start like stabbing the mossy knoll all over the place, uh, hoping what? that you get something. Um, what is the AOE for the silence spell? Said twenty foot radius. Uh, let me check. Uh, yes, twenty feet uh, radius. So, yeah, just uh, or you could just you know tell me to just shut it off. Nah, it's kind of useful. Um, so I'm just gonna move. Um, one, two, three, four. Like far enough away that I'm out of the silence area and just cast an Eldritch Blast at him. All right. Is this non lethal? I have to ask. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Doesn't that hits hit. him. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, here's well, number two. Well, technically it'll hit me, but it just like bounces off my armor. Yeah. Fuck. God damn it. Nope. 
All right, uh, you shoot some Eldritch Blasts at him, but he just deflects one with his shield, uh, and the other one just skids off into the darkness. Uh, anybody else want to do anything? I look at Ostrich and I shrug. <laughs> Ostrich opens their mouth to say something, but you can't hear it. Oh no. I'm gonna go run over and try and hit him again, non-lethally. Do it. Uh, can she do the bonus action hide thing? Uh, there's not much space to hide here. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. But I'll move around to your front, so I'm definitely trying to, like, get in your... Alright. Um, so, uh, Amon, do you ha want to try anything? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. I've been looking at other people's spells, so nothing really. I don't think I have anything. Uh... You can make a religion check if you'd like. Uh, that sounds... Yeah. Alright, uh, you're trying to think of whatever this strange dark possession could be, but nothing's really coming to mind. Um, Ostrich okay. is going to just take this uh, opportunity to rush over to Zumasu and try to tackle them to the ground. Um, yeah, that seems good. So Ostrich's going to do a strength check. Uh, Zumasu, I'm going to need you to make a, a strength check opposed to this. Ugh. Well, it's not oh, going to be too okay. hard. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we never know. Zumasu oh, can right. roll pretty low. Yeah. My strength isn't high, my athletics is. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, you uh, easily shrug Ostrich off of you. Uh, they fall to the ground silently. Um, okay. Uh, Zumasu, I'm going to need you to make another wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh wait, that's an ability check. Anyway, can I roll a saving throw instead? Sure. That's a dagger. That's a dagger. <laughs> I know. <I'm laughs> having a bit of trouble. There we go. All right. Um, as you throw off Ostrich, uh, a moment of clarity passes on uh, about you. Uh, you see Mao trying to take you down, and you see like the singe marks from Boom Crash's Eldritch Blast on the uh, cliff face beside you. Um, I'm going to need you to make a religion check. Okay. Nope. Oh, that was the three on the other side. <laughs> All right, uh, you start searching your mind for what this could be, uh, but you start to recognize the cackling voice of the person who is whispering you to say these things in Gnomish. You recognize this to be a part of a curse from Granny Weevil Eyes. Oh, no. fuck. <laughs> you idiot. Smooch. You have one sentence before she reasserts her control. The witch cursed me! Unfortunately, no it is silent. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. You shout this out into nothingness, uh, and then you Wait, pick up your sword can't, once more. Can't I just, like, focus on Boom Crash and say this telepathically? Uh, not really. She's not trying to speak telepathically with you. Yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> Uh, you, like, temporarily drop your arms and then shout something, uh, causing everybody around you to hesitate, but then you pick up your sword once more, uh, and then you start attacking Mao, but your turn has been wasted. Uh, okay, Boom Crash. Uh, oh wait, we aren't really going in a turn order here. Uh, does anyone want to try anything? Amon. Uh, yeah, we can do Amon. Alright, uh, why don't we just do this? Okay, I'm gonna check some... Let's see. Alright. 
So he's obviously cursed. Do you think a greater restoration can restore him? You're not Is sure. You don't even know him? that he's cursed. Well, he's obviously like delirious. He's obviously like has something wrong with him. It's not. He's not in control of himself. Exactly. He knows I'm not diseased because I'm immune to that. And poison. Yeah. yeah. So he's he's obviously magically uh, compromised somehow. So I'm I'm saying like, can that be? Uh, can greater restoration be used to restore him? You're not sure. Your role for what's wrong with him did not yield anything. You can certainly try it, but you don't know if it'll succeed. Wait, what did I roll? I didn't roll. You anything. rolled a religion check back then. Oh, okay. That was what it was for. Okay. Ah, uh, then uh, I guess uh, he's just gonna have to suffer. Uh, <laughs> well, you can attempt it. You just don't know if it's gonna work. No, hell no! I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attempt it. It's gonna. I have. I have the last uh, great restoration. Hmm. All right. Uh, boom crash, Mao. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna hit him to try and knock him out again. And Eldritch Blast from me. So whoever wants to go first can go first. The attack team. Uh, me first, me first, me first. Okay. <laughs> that way, if you can blast him away from me, I don't have to chase his body down. Ostrich is threatening them, so, uh, hmm. Well, if he's you don't, threatening... You don't have advantage. No. Right. You just have your sneak attack. All right, boom crash. I guess it's your turn. Okie dokie. <laughs> eh? Yep, that'll hit him. Uh, Zumasu, you, you take 12 non-lethal damage as you are knocked down the mossy knoll onto the other side. One more. Am I out of the silence spell yet? Uh, I'm on. Tell me, ping where you placed the center of it. Uh, hold on. So that was like over... Also, that second Eldritch yeah, Blast does not hit. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you are actually out of it now. Uh, you tumble down the hill, um, and, uh, you continue shouting in Gnomish. Uh, Boomcrash can hear it now from the other side, um, as Zumasu starts shouting that he's gonna kill every last one of them, uh, and drive them away from what is rightfully his land. That's weird. Uh, Ostrich is going to leap over the knoll, uh, and just start... Uh, trying to restrain them again. Uh, make an opposed strength check. Zoom okay. also. Ooh. That might actually... Ostrich got a height advantage. <laughs> I, it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. It is over. <laughs> Ostrich <laughs> leaps on top of you, uh, and after, uh, finally getting you pinned to the ground... Uh, they start controlling and contorting the mud around you, uh, or the ground around you, into mud, and you start sinking up to your neck. You find yourself uh, restrained in the mud. And I think that's where this combat, at least, ends. Uh, you are completely unable to get out. Okay, that's good. That's so, good. So, I'm going to move up. And uh, can I ch try and do a knowledge arcana or something? Sure. You can try and uh, figure out what the heck's wrong with him. Eh? Natural 20. Uh, you realize this to be, this magic to be some sort of curse. Uh, you definitely think um, that it probably has something to do with that witch that kissed him a long time ago. Um, okay. So Zumasu then, uh, like, his neck cracks around towards you to look at you, Boomcrash, and says, You guys will never be able to talk to these people ever again. Never. <laughs> okay. I, I motion to Amon to, like, and sort of, like, do group chat between Amon, Mao, and Osric, um, and to be like, okay, it's the Granny Weevil Eyes. She remember the smoochie that she snuck in? I don't. What carnal relations have you uh, done? I didn't do Jack Diddley squat, but Zuzu got some tongue, and I think she placed a she placed a curse on him, and she's controlling him. Ew. So, so it's I a get curse. out of this trap. I'm gonna 
Fuck you all. I'm gonna fuck you all to death. I'll pretend so to enjoy it, down? sweetie. Shut up now. Okay, so what do we do? Do we, do we put him down? He um, starts projectile vomiting poison spray. I, I, I back up. <laughs> so, do, do we put him down? Um, we can put him down, but is there any other, like, do you think a dispel magic, would that work? That's all I got. Uh, that's the, the well, it's the best hope that we got. Okay, so I cast dispel magic. You cast dispel magic upon Zumasu. Um, but Zumasu just laughs. <laughs> You'll have to do stronger work than that to get rid of me, child. <laughs> well, shit, I'm out. Anybody else got anything? You can kill him and turn him into a zombie. You'd better um, beware. I'm just, I'm just gonna hit him to like knock him out. This is getting annoying. Ah! Uh, Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You whack him upside the head, but he is wearing a helmet. You stub your toe and take one bludgeoning damage. <laughs> pot shot. You take a pot shot, uh, and it, Not def lethal. it definitely hits. Uh, Zumas, you take nine non-lethal damage. And okay, since, you're, really since you are restrained and helpless, I'm going to say it's an automatic crit. You are knocked <laughs> out. Okay. Zumasu is now unconscious. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I sit on his head and I'm like, okay, what do we do? <laughs> mm. uh, Aman, do you have anything? Um, okay, so Greater Restoration, I have one less charge of it. I have no idea if it'll work. Um, does my natural 20... Hey, I, I, have, I, have, I have an idea. Uh, why don't I ask my god if it'll work? Okay, uh, let's that do works. that. <laughs> let's, 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 do a, let's do a quick commune. Uh, it's, gonna, <laughs> it's gonna take me a literal minute, uh, but let's do it. Alright, Zumasu remains unconscious. Uh, Ostrich is just kind of like watching you guys and watching Zumasu. Uh, th this better work. And Amon, you do the same ritual that you did a few days ago. Uh, and... You once again fill yourself with the vapors of Encabulos, and your vision goes blank. Do you ask of me? Well, um, our idiot uh, paladin pet <laughs> has, uh, <laughs> has suffered a severe uh, uh, possession issue. Will uh, the your blessing through uh, great great restoration uh, restore him to his senses? Or sh should I put him down like a dog? <laughs> you, you gave an either or question to a yes or no answer. Um, cool. But uh, you do. Uh, you you receive work. a vision uh, of a bridge that goes two ways, and you are in the middle. But. The one way uh, leads to success, uh, but at a price. The other is easier to take, but uh, will take longer. That is all that you receive from that. It is not even an, a yes or a no. Okay. Second, will uh, lesser restoration work? That means it might wear off eventually, but you have no idea how long and if it'll even work. Yeah, so I got nothing. However, I, I still have other two questions. So, mm -hmm. um, um, will, will killing the witch uh, dispel the curse? Yes. Is the, um, is the witch nearby? No. And your vision fades. <sighs> okay. Uh, Amon, I'm gonna give you a new religion check to interpret that strange vision from earlier. Ooh, thank God. Yes. Oh, I couldn't tell which one was which. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so you interpret this to mean that you could use a greater restoration. It would heal him. It would remove the curse, but at a price. The other option is to wait out the curse. Hmm, okay. Um... Wait, do I know if it's the price is for me or for him? Most likely for him. Oh, then I don't give a shit. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll convey. So, uh, actually, this is something that, um, I believe my lord has uh, answered to be that uh, I could heal, uh, his power could restore him, but uh, something will be taken from him. Or, we can just wait this out. Like, like an illness. So. Do we know how long we have to wait this out? <laughs> you don't. That, okay. Um, that has been left unclear to me. Okay. Question is, do you, do you even care? I mean, he's useful, and he gives warm hugs, and he reaches tall things for me, so. Perhaps the price will be his height. And his, <laughs> his two greatest features. It's like, I mean, I'm fond of him, but I, I, I don't know. Like, we don't know what exactly will be taken from him. I mean, do you need me for this part of the mission? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tie him up and restrain him. Do so I deserve he life? Problems when he wakes up. <laughs> I meant more so in the sense of like, are you like, do you think you guys can handle it and just like leave me in the car for like a day or two? <laughs> Don't know. Still gonna tie you up though. I mean, that's fair. So, uh, let us. I'm still in my shit. <laughs> oh, that's just tying me up. Yep. You could steal my shit. With, with the rope that you had that I didn't give back to you yet. So now you have it back. <laughs> also, also, your your shit is uh, covered in like a bunch of uh, monster bits. No one wants to steal your crap. Yeah. <laughs> Ostrich releases Zumasu from the mud prison. Uh, Ostrich, do you think Grovel or anybody would have an opinion on this? Because this is kind of a this is kind of a thing. Well, I will take him back. I will get the voice upon it. Okay. Zumasu, um, uh, Ostrich takes you your tied up and bound body back to the caravan uh it's several uh minutes before ostrich uh starts making their way back to you uh well they seem to value the life of their bodyguard if as long as the bodyguard is fine it'll be fine too they They've left it up to you, since it is your friend. Mm. Decisions are hard. Um. Well, it, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pull out a coin. We'll we'll ask the great equalizer. Instead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, evens. Uh, it, uh, I do it. All right. Okay. Any objections? Nope. Nope. Okay. Right. The restoration it is. This is the last greater restoration I have. Nothing uh, else after this. Shit. Don't break uh any more bones. Okay. <laughs> Alright. you, I'll break your bones. So, Amon, you head over to Zumasu, who has been placed uh, upon the cart, and you surround them with uh, additional candles, um, just surrounding him on the cart. Uh, and then they start, like, melting down onto the belongings, and you start doing a chant beneath of him. You start spraying uh, a vial of holy water on him with, like, your thumb over the cap, just spraying him uh, with unholy water to try and banish this also unholy force that is controlling him. Uh, in his unconscious state, he begins hissing and frothing. He begins spitting poison everywhere. Everybody else is backing up a little bewildered. Some of them have weapons drawn. Uh, I'm going to need you to make a religion check. God damn, why do you keep on making me uh, do Because you're a cleric, fuck you. <laughs> oh, oh, no. 
Yeah, 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 truly, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> the You don't know shit, you cleric. Uh, so yeah, Zuma, I spew that out. Zuma also turns out. towards you and says that uh, in Granny Weevil Eyes' voice. You don't know shit, you stupid little cleric. You can't get rid of me. He's mine. He's mine forever, you stupid little bitch. And uh, you see, like, a, like, uh, what you could swear is a scorpion tail come out of Zumasu's mouth, uh, flicking at you as he talks. Uh, it seems as if the possession is getting worse. You start to sprinkle him with the diamond dust, uh, but his body is starting to burn at the touch of the holy water and the diamond dust. He starts shrieking in pain, um, and after an ordeal that takes far beyond the normal casting of the spell, it takes at least two hours. And finally, uh, with a final shriek, Zumasu's back just like cracks as he's like trying to wrench against these ropes that have loosened several times over. And then he finally goes limp and falls unconscious. After a few moments of cautious silence, you see a small copper beetle crawl out of his mouth and fly off into the Underdark. I Eldritch Blast it. They can attack Look it. That is not okay. enough to hit the beetle. I try again. Mm -hmm. I have two. I have two. <laughs> nope. You shoot off two rays towards it, but it just dodges both of them and zooms off into the darkness. Sumasu awakens and is himself again. What the fuck hit me? Hey, buddy. You, you good? You are smoking and covered with burns. You have one hit point left. I hurt all over, apparently. What? I remember something I couldn't I don't know. Well, actually, Chris, how do I? How much do I remember of everything? Was I like completely out of it, or what? Uh, you do remember everything that you did. Okay. You feel a strange enjoyment uh, at the fact of essentially ruining the relationship between you guys and your potential navigator assistants. Uh. Okay. So I guess I convey that I'm like um. So was I possessed? I was possessed by something? Because uh, I remember all of a sudden trying to talk to those things, and then I just went crazy, and I think something took over me. So, yep. remember the smoochy smooch? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Our favorite bug lady? Yeah, well, she took over and completely trashed our potential opportunity of making contact with, like... Bjorn's friends. They were my friends. Do not feel so guilty. What you should feel guilty uh, is that like, you indulged your carnal desires and sacrificed our opportunity. <laughs> Judgment shall be upon you soon. <laughs> That's fair. Um... So you want to take a nap and sit this one out and we're going to try and make contact with the people again? That's fine. I think I, I take a look at my like battered body. I think I need a little rest here. Yeah, we uh, had to knock you out. <laughs> I, have, I have an alternate suggestion. I believe negotiations have failed. They have not uh, approached us uh, aggressively. I say we blitzed through their land. Or we have already lost so much time during on the side quest. And this investment has uh, proven costly, in my Wait, so you're saying you just blitz through them instead of trying to negotiate with them? Because they haven't done anything aggressive to us. It appears that they do not wish to fight. If if uh, And if you do not uh, actively engage them, I believe they will just let us pass to avoid trouble. Well, this is like on the side of the path. Uh, this is like a contained, self-contained cavern. You probably don't even need to go through them. This is just oh, then, 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 stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I say we just navigate on our own. This has been a colossal waste. But we we need some sort of navigator. The, that Bjorn fellow, wherever he went, 
he couldn't help us get to where we needed to go. He said he, that these people would be able to help us, Barty says. Okay, so... I mean, I mean I guess... could... you said they're gnomes, right? Says Peggy the gnome. Maybe I could help in some way? That would be awesome. I mean, they are deep gnomes. I don't really know much about their folk. Yeah, Fair but enough. I think a different friendly face would be a good thing. That's probably your best option. I'll stay here. I kind of want to make sure I'm okay as well. Again, I'm looking at like my singed arms and shit and just like, this. I, I should probably check myself out a little bit. Your head really hurts because you got smacked in it quite a lot. Mouse totally hurts. I mean, yeah. But I had fun doing it. <laughs> yeah, so if they're headed off, I'm just gonna chill here and probably ask Rizzo to do a medicine check and help me see if anything's wrong. Like if I got any other bugs or something. Alright, uh, Rizzo is going to administer a potion to you. Um, she's going to use, actually, she'll use that superior healing potion that she uh, just made for you guys, which is going to heal the max amount, but I'm going to roll it to see, because I forget the dice. Oh. I mean, I was more so just make asking as a sort of, because I figure I can just rest it away, but I was more so like, because we, because I, I would have heard of the what I've heard them talking about, like fixing me too, about something being lost if they try to spell. Um, you didn't really hear them say that. You were unconscious during that time. Oh yeah, I wasn't. Uh, sure. but you heal forty hit points, by the way. Oh, I feel pretty good then. Uh, Rizzo looks you over and says, aside from the strange, like ritualistic stuff that was done to you, um. It doesn't look like you're physically hurt in any way. She does note the strange pattern of the burn marks, which do appear to be strange runes covering your body now. Intermittently. Burn marks? Yeah. Burn marks from Encabulos? Uh, it does, they don't look like eyeballs. I don't really know much about religion and all that junk. I'm a scientist. I suppose that's fair. Do you mind just helping me jot them down? Uh, Okay, but I'm not looking all over your body. Well, I mean, I can't see certain spots, but the spot, like just my back. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Uh, so so just... she goes and does that and helps you out with that. You have a record of the symbols uh, all over your body, and then you can start reading about what your past lives did. And the... oh wait, that's plain scan. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> the but they're not you... disappearing, right? <laughs> uh, no, they have they have left scars upon your body for now. They haven't disappeared okay. from the healing either. Yeah, uh, that's not good. Okay, so the rest of you guys, uh, what is your chosen group for going up there? I'm assuming Peggy is going with you. Do you mm -hmm. want Ostrich to continue up there or stay behind? It's up to them. Yeah. Um, eh. Perhaps new faces would be better. Ostrich decides to stay behind. Okay, sure. Other possibilities include Barty. Um, and Grovel. Do, uh, do either of you know Gnomish? Nope. I'm gonna stay behind. I don't think I'm I'm helping. Um, um I actually know a bit of Gnomish, but uh, that was just in uh, high school, Hodge <laughs> says. Wow. But okay, Hodge. I do speak a, a wee bit. Okay, y you, you sit back and look pretty and let Peggy do most of the talking. I'm gonna stay back and offer support um and I'll keep in touch with everybody telepathically but I'm gonna let you star the show Peggy mostly is that okay um yeah sure <laughs> um I, I'll do my best okay. I'll back her oh, up hold on, hold on. Uh, before I, uh, I go I gotta put uh, um shield of faith on Peggy just in case she gets whacked <laughs> All right, uh, you guys sort of linger behind as uh, Peggy climbs up into this area. She looks around. Wow. Uh, and you guys point her towards where that other gnome came out of. She cautiously mm -hmm. walks over to it. She kind of knocks on the stone, starts speaking in gnomish. Um, 
boom crash. Uh, I think you still have that spell. My spell. Uh, yeah, I think it only lasts an hour, oh. so it would have faded. Yep. But you can also have rested, so you can cast it again if you wish. Ooh, neat. Yes, I've rested and I will cast it again. Yeah, you were resting the whole time that the exorcism was going on. Oh, um, neat. So, uh, Peggy uh, kind of like read to herself what was on the the stone just before opening the door. She like read it out loud to herself. Um, it seems to describe uh, the name of the rock and asking it to protect their blessed hole. Um, it, its uh, name was Atagu, and that's about that. She shrugs and uh, knocks on the hole. There is no reply. She kind of like uh, knocks again, puts her ears to the moss. She looks back at you guys and shrugs. She says, "Should I, should I try and go inside?" Um, that's up to you, hun. Uh, it's you're the only one who could go down there, so do whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh. Hmm. They seemed nice, like the brief chat that I had with them, so... It's up to you. Mm. Um, if oh, you want, okay. um, because I know that things can get kind of tiny, um, do you want a fireball grenade? Uh. Would that make you feel more comfortable? <laughs> uh, I'd this like is definitely one. <laughs> but would you feel... It's I'd coming feel back safe. to me. I'd f oh. Uh, well, I guess I can take it for now. Okay. There you go. You sure I can't keep this? I really like them. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> she knocks again on the, the rock. <sighs> and she, like, cautiously lifts it up. Uh, seconds later, a spear point uh, comes out of the hole. Uh, pointed at her, and she backs up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, this time, a new gnome has come out of the hole. Yeah, let me go find them. Let's copy the right thing. Did. Uh, a gnome with a small pipe in their mouth uh, and, like, armor covered in moss comes out of the hole, wielding a spear and poking it at Peggy. It starts speaking in Gnomish. Get out of here. We don't want your friends and your kind here. They just want to kill us. Um, I... Uh, well, w what I mean to say is that, um, yes, we're not from around here, but we don't mean you any harm. You see, the other one isn't with us anymore. Um, um explain it was, about... It was a magic Granny. possession. It, uh, yeah. from, from a... A, a witch. Granny Weevil Eyes. Granny Granny Weevil Eyes? Um, maybe you've heard of her? No. Haven't heard of her. But, uh, maybe you should make a persuasion roll. Uh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll try doing that. Good luck, Peggy. Plus she's zero. Of, she's gonna do a couple of uh, somersaults. Oh. Uh... She didn't seem to sound very convincing to this guy. Uh, um, the gnome pokes her again with the spear. Ow! Uh, it's, I you folks sort better of, get moving. I sort of step up and I bow very low and politely, hold both of my talents up and be like, we really mean you no harm. He takes that the was, spear and points it towards you in, in fear. Uh, it's, I, I mean you no harm, I promise. Um, Give it a we, present. We were able to take down and remove our ally who was possessed, who was cursed by Granny Weevil Eyes. Um, she apparently really does not like the fact that you are here, and we have no positive feelings towards her either. <sighs> well, I don't I'm know so what. I'm so sorry some, for the offense. I don't know what some weird witch would want to do with us. To me, you guys seem to be far more dangerous. You're blasting stuff, killing each other. 
Mossboro is a kind place. None for the likes of you. And we will leave here as soon as we can. This is not where we want to stay. Um, we were hoping for navigation help. Um, our navigators, a piece of equipment was broken earlier on in our travels and we've been lost ever since. Um, we were hoping that you would help us get to our destination or at least point us in the right direction. As soon as we get that, we, we want to leave. We do not want to stay here. We want to go home. I want to believe you. I really do. But I don't know if I can trust you. Make what would help? Persuasion check. Boom crash. Okie dokie. I'm bad at these. It's okay. You have charisma, Does right? Does that charisma bonus? Yes, I do. Yes, she does. <laughs> I want to believe you. I really do. But you guys have brought too much attention to this place. These rocks and the gestures towards the stones, apparently over all of their burrows, these keep us safe. And they keep us hidden. We like being hidden. The mere fact that you were taken here and know where we are is a danger to our very existence. We have no better mind than to smite you down right here, but we will let you go. Does that sound good, bird? Is there anything that I could say or do to make up for the disturbance that Granny Weevil Eyes has caused you because we are very sorry. We were, we are truly seeking aid. Um, I'm gonna have you, Boom Crash, make a history check. I'm gonna say <laughs> that Mao can do that as well since she's here. History, history, yes. I don't know anything about these people. Mm -mm. Mm. Nothing. <laughs> See? Told you. Can, can Peggy make one? Yeah. I'm rolling for Maybe her. Maybe watch. <laughs> so, uh, Peggy kind of like uh, locks eyes with you, uh, hoping to get a sort of mental in, in and you kind of yep. insight this. Um, mm -hmm. And she goes, Hey, I've, mm -hmm. if... If he's like other gnomes, he probably likes money. Okay. Give him the, the the stuff we found in the tree. Okay. Um. Well, we have been traveling throughout the Underdark, and we've found quite a few interesting things in our travels. Um, would Amber be of any interest to you? Amber? Yes, crystals. And I bring out one single amber crystal. You bring out a uh, fairly large chunk of the amber, uh, and his eyes kind of widen. He drops the pipe for a second out of his mouth, but his lip catches it. Shinies. Do you um, have more of of this? Uh, yes, yes I do. He starts sniffing. I give, I give him the, the chunk. <laughs> Your picks Lord. it up, brings it up to his nose. <laughs> Wait here. And then he hops inside of the burrow again, closing the rock behind him. I give Peggy a fist bump. <laughs> a few uh, minutes passed when Benegrin appears again. Uh, I bow to her. So... This is yours, I take it? And she pulls out the amber gemstone. Uh, she's followed out of the burrow by the other character uh, that was just talking to you. Okay. Um, well, now it's yours, and I have more, if that would help. Reparations, you see. Well, from the sound of it, you seem to be a good lot saving that dryad from that tree. So, I think we can trust you. She wow. 
puts the rock up to her ear again. Goes, mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I think... I think that they... They do appreciate you. You have also cleansed them of whatever evil possessed them at first. Yes. Yes, they did. And she pets the rock. I... Whip out another crystal rock. <laughs> <laughs> you get a rock. You, and get, you a rock. get a rock. And I hand, because she has one, I hand one to the other so he doesn't feel neglected. <laughs> are that weird, and the rocks are sent to the bear. And then I bring out the pouch. Bring with out the pouch. Of it. <laughs> you see the, the gemstones reflecting uh, in their wide open eyes. Yes, I... We can trust you. And this'll do, <laughs> says the other one. Uh, he takes the sack, uh, grasps it up. Reparations, he says. Uh, and then mm -hmm. goes back into the burrow with the sack over his back like a happy little camper. Benegrin <laughs> looks to you and says, That's that's my brother, Rangdrang. He's uh, one of our seasoned gem finders um, in the burrow here. But <laughs> I am the burrow's leader. Um... And I think we can trust you. You guys see that a bunch of the rocks start rising up again as gnomes start appearing all over the place. Wow. We're in Smurfville, or mm. Smurf Town, or wherever the hell that is. Mm. Smurfields. I guess. But are Smurfs gnomes? We're not getting they're, into they're, this. The, they're tiny and they're blue. Who cares? Anyway. <laughs> these tiny blue gnome-like creatures pop out of their underground homes, uh, and they start uh, curiously approaching you guys. Now that the leader has, like, okayed you guys, uh, they seem to be curious about the newcomers. Uh, and they start gathering towards you guys, um, and just kind of looking you up and down. Uh, some of them are a little weird-looking. Uh, some of them, like, have... Uh, rocks taped to their heads uh, and others have gemstones like tangled in their beards um, others in their hair uh, and this is happening apparently okay cool I hate them so much. don't touch me, <laughs> don't touch me. Uh, they start touching you no. <laughs> uh, Hotch starts greeting them in uh, entry level gnomish Garnas uh, Hey! The gnomes look at each other and laugh. Um, <laughs> Where is the pencil sharpener? <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> That's... <laughs> Hatch, you, that was... doing? Me gusta queso. Oh my god. Hatch, no. <laughs> what? I'm speaking their language. Didn't you believe yeah. me? No. No. As if you know any norm. Nope. I thought not. No one can okay. disprove me. Peggy <laughs> looks at him with narrowed eyes. Benegrin <laughs> looks to you guys uh, and says, uh, Please, you're welcome to... Well, um, I, I guess you're welcome to uh, come down here and, and join us. She looks at Peggy. I don't think the rest of you will fit, I'm afraid. That's okay. Um... About navigation, do you know, like, would you be able to help our navigators or guide us at, or some, something? Peggy kind of, like, interjects and says, we lost our equipment and we really need some special tools and uh, supplies to get it fixed. Do you have a lot of gemstones by any chance that we might be able to trade for? Benegrin nods her head. We have plenty of gemstones. It is pretty much all we do down here is search for precious gems and bring them back home. Awesome. Well, we'd be happy to trade for more. Um, so, Peggy, what do you need? Uh, You're need, the navigator. We need a, an emerald, and she like opens her hands up like, like this big to be a lens. It needs to be nice and flat and well cut. Uh, do you guys cut your own gems? We cut our own gems. Of course we do. <laughs> Let me... Come, come down, come down with me, uh, Miss uh, Peggy. Peggy, I'm Benegrin. Uh, I'll take you to our marketplace down here, where we can get you introduced 
to some of our finest gems and any other material that you might need. The rest of um, you can wait up here. It's all yes, right with you. Yes, of course. I'm and sure that the others can entertain you. Cost. I, I'm happy to pay. Well, we will get to that. Uh, we don't really take coin, as it were. We're more interested in gemstones and perhaps supplies. But we'll get to talking once we've found out what we're looking for. Shall we? Okay. She uh, points her hand towards the burrow, and Peggy shrugs and crawls inside. Uh, the holes are big enough for a tiny creature to squeeze through, essentially. So Peggy is, like, squeezing down into this hole uh, and into their burrows. And I think that's where we're going to have to pick it up next week. Okie dokie. Do not like... <laughs> <laughs> we represent the lollipop no. guild. <laughs> or or the, the, we are the jockeys. Jockeys are we. Live underground in a fiberglass tree. <laughs> Between <laughs> earth and hell, we reign supreme. A toadstool thrown by the chocolate stream. God. Is that that horrible nightmare version of like the the? Uh, it's, it's from the Simpsons, the where the, the jockeys are actually like underground gnome people. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, it was certainly an exciting, interesting session. Uh, you guys have Funky. befriended the Swerf Neblin. And not, not friends. I'm I trying to prevent tattoos. myself from kicking them. Oh, so also, Chris, I, I, I was like so sure that you were gonna go uh, like for Exorcist and go like, I am Pazuzu. <laughs> <laughs> Pazuzu exists there is in only this world. Zoo. <laughs> All right. Uh, so next week is. February 2nd, Groundhog Day. So if we play this right, we could be playing forever. Yes. <laughs> yes. But the only thing, though, it's the same session over and over again. We never get ahead. Yeah. Yes, but yeah, you that, will make the, the perfect session. This could be hell or heaven, depending on who you are. <laughs> so, um... We're, we're by does anybody have any hell. special anyway. plans for Groundhog Day? No. no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we, we I do, but I will move them around for D&D. Sorry, what? Dan? If it was Groundhog Day, we could figure out if we destroyed the card or not, what the, the repercussions would be each time. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we will meet again next week uh, at 9pm Eastern Standard Time, where the Dork Vision stream will continue. Until then, thanks everyone that came out to watch, and we'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye! Bye! Bye.